Chapter 1761 Magnanimity Translator Born to be senior apprentice brother Long Chen You, everyone, including the third commander, was startled. Long Chen actually said that he believed that the third commander was not a spy. Considering the ancient race's arrogance and viciousness, they usually did not get along with the Martial Heaven Alliance. There was constant friction between them. Although it hadn't grown into a full-scale war, there was plenty of hostility between them. The fact that the ancient races had failed despite trying so hard to prevent Long Chen's first place ranking from counting was the most recent source of conflict. Hence, as soon as they saw the runes on the third commander's legs, they thought that he had to be a spy from the ancient races. For Long Chen to speak up for the third commander was something that they found inconceivable. Although I don't like him and want to slap him, he truly isn't a spy from the ancient races. Do you think the Alliance head wouldn't be able to tell if he was a spy? Aren't you questioning the Alliance head's abilities? Do you think a spy from the ancient races would have the slightest chance of living? Said Long Chen indifferently. Yes, that's true. Furthermore, I've had to deal with the ancient races plenty of times. His aura is completely different from theirs. He might have the ancient races' bone marks, but he doesn't have their bloodline power. Based on that, his bone marks can no longer be classified as divine runes from the ancient races. Without the bloodline of the ancient races to nourish those bone marks, they would wither away. So he is still a human just a special variation. The ancient races are too stupid to do something like this. They don't have the brains to send a spy here to sow dissension, said Long Chen. This explanation made quite a few people laugh. It was quite accurate. Although the ancient races had the blood of the human race, their heads weren't that good. They had inherited part of the essence of the Xuan beasts when it came to brains and weren't too good at thinking about long-term consequences. So despite having the blood of the human race, they were unable to control high-level magical arts and were forced to rely on their inherited divine abilities. Long Chen. Sorry. I might have misjudged you. The third commander's expression was complicated. However, he still apologized. Even though he had mocked Long Chen before, challenging him arrogantly, Long Chen was actually coming to his defense. He was naturally ashamed. Although your words were ugly and your face is dislikable, I sensed that you were fearless. That's why I didn't fight you. Anger will only cloud a person's judgment. To be able to remain calm within anger is a real skill. I often get angry, as it's an instinct, but I always have to keep my calm so my anger doesn't cloud my mind. Unlike you all, I did not have the Martial Heaven Alliance behind me, I did not have the Alliance head supporting me. If I had let my judgment be clouded in the Eastern Wasteland, I would have already died. I had to use my brain to deduce what was true and what was false, because if I was wrong, I might not have had another chance to be right. Unlike you. I cannot blindly decide on something, nor can I let my anger bias my decision, said Long Chen. Long Chen's words moved all the disciples. Cultivators often started a rain of blood when angered. How many people were truly able to become like him? Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, please accept this kowtow as an apology. The third commander actually knelt on the ground and kowtowed toward Long Chen, causing a clamor amongst the disciples. The third commander Meng Fei was extremely powerful and also extremely stubborn. For him to kowtow to Long Chen as an apology was something they had never imagined. To kowtow with just a few words from me, don't you think you're a bit too impulsive? Laughed Long Chen. He was also surprised. He hadn't wanted to kill Meng Fei because he hadn't sensed that kind of sinister air around him. He was a straightforward man, not necessarily a bad person. The reason he was challenging him was most likely due to a misunderstanding. Furthermore, he was one of the four commanders of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Could Long Chen really kill one of the top four geniuses that Ku Jianying had worked so hard to raise as soon as he arrived? That would be awkward. Ignoring whether those rumors are true or false. Just this magnanimity is enough to win me over, said the third commander. Ashamed. Magnanimous people are those who have been wronged the most by others. It's just a sad fact of reality, said Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother's words are pearls of wisdom. Let me apologize again. Meng Fei lowered his head once more. Third commander, 
Are you saying that those rumors, are they false? The disciples that had been following Menfei were at a loss. Of course, they're false. How could someone with senior apprentice brother Long Chen's character do something so shameless raged Menfei? This anger from the third commander caused the surrounding disciples to laugh, but the tense atmosphere relaxed a great deal. Whether they're true or not isn't important. What's important is whether you have the ability to determine what's true or not, said Long Chen. Long Chen, if you were so wrongly accused, even by us, why didn't you explain or argue? Asked one disciple. It's beneath me. Hearing that, the disciples nodded. This was a true expert. He disdained having to explain himself. Long Chen continued. Those who believe me don't need me to explain. And those who don't believe me won't believe me no matter what I say. They slander me, accuse me, and frame me in order to pull me into their chaos. If I tried explaining myself, I would be falling into their trap. I only have one mouth. So how am I supposed to argue against the millions of mouths in this world? I don't have the time to waste on such a thing. Nor do I have time to gather proof that would convince them that I'm innocent. I can't waste time or my death will be very miserable. Since I don't have the time, whether you're an enemy or someone instigated by others to become my enemy, the only thing I can do is raise my butcher's blade and kill you without hesitation. The third commander shook at Long Chen's final sentence. He felt a chill on his back. If Long Chen had accepted his challenge, he probably wouldn't exist in this world any longer. Fortunately, this misunderstanding had been resolved. Although Long Chen still hadn't explained anything, he had won their loyal respect. They no longer suspected him of such crimes. Xin Li, let me also apologize to you for my past conduct. Meng Fei actually kowtowed to Xin Li. Third commander, you can't. Xin Li hastily stopped him. However, Meng Fei was faster and stronger. Although Xin Li managed to grab him in time, he couldn't stop him from kowtowing. To tell the truth. The reason I've always targeted you is because I'm jealous of you, said Meng Fei after completing this rite. Jealous of me? Over what Xin Li was startled. Because, of your white face, it's more handsome. Meng Fei's dark face twisted with embarrassment. Comma amongst the four commanders, you're the most handsome, and you're also a sword cultivator. As for me, I'm just a monster. The third commander looked at his thick legs and sighed. I always beat up whoever mocked me for my strange body. This gradually cultivated my temper. I only understand now with senior apprentice brother Long Chen's words that my brutality was to cover up my own flaws. I refused to be wronged by others. So I was never able to become someone magnanimous. But you, Xin Li, despite often being the target of my anger, are still willing to fight alongside me without harboring a grudge. So that apology was necessary. You are more of a hero than I was. Third commander, you were willing to accept your mistakes. You are also a hero shouted the disciples beside Meng Fei emotionally. That's right. The third commander is a hero. And the fourth commander is also a hero. As for senior apprentice brother Long Chen, he's an even bigger hero. And we're heroes too. Yes. He's just a bit bigger. And. Cough. Yes. Just a bit bigger. One of the disciples began to ramble on, caught up in the flow. He actually began to spout nonsense, eliciting laughter from the crowd. In the Martial Heaven Alliance, the fact that the third and fourth commanders didn't get along was common knowledge. But today, these old enemies were laughing and talking together, becoming brothers. That excited the disciples, and the news spread. More and more disciples were drawn over. There were hundreds of thousands of them filling up the plaza. Many disciples wanted to see Long Chen in person. After all, he was the strongest existence amongst the disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance. He had dominated those in the same realm, taking first place on the Devil Slaughter rankings. He had countless worshippers amongst the junior generation. It was unknown how many young maidens let out startled cries when they saw him. The entire plaza became chaotic, and people were too excited. Long Chen had just arrived, but he had managed to make Xin Li and Meng Fei shake hands. In the eyes of these disciples, Long Chen was practically a god. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, fourth commander, I have a question I want to ask you, 
said Meng Fei suddenly after a moment's hesitation. Chapter 1762 Long Chen expounds on the Tao translator. Born to be I know what you want to say. Just ask Xin Li. Long Chen smiled. Looking at Meng Fei's current expression, Long Chen knew exactly what he wanted. Fourth Commander, how did you beat me? Even now, I'm still puzzled. How could you know where I would go? You have to tell me, or this secret will forever bother me. Meng Fei turned to Xin Li. He was extremely depressed inside. He had fought against Xin Li many times and knew his techniques. However, today he had lost in just three moves. When he thought back to it, he still felt like it was a dream. No matter how he thought about it, he couldn't figure it out. He had hesitated over asking this question because asking other people's secrets was a taboo for cultivators, but he couldn't help himself. This, to tell the truth, I'm also puzzled. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen told me that once I located your true body, I just needed to force you to my left and I would win. I was just following his directions and had no idea you would appear there. Xin Li shrugged with embarrassment because he was the same as the third commander. He didn't know what had happened. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. You. Meng Fei turned to Long Chen. You don't understand? I told Xin Li to force you to the left and then immediately attack behind him because thanks to his rotation, his center of gravity would be leaning toward the right. That just happened to leave his back to you. And I was sure that you would instinctively attack there without even thinking about it. In other words, that opening was something Xin Li intentionally revealed to you. And then you fell for it. Long Chen shrugged. But, that's not possible this didn't make sense. Long Chen had told Xin Li to do this without having seen them fight before. Just how could his prediction be so accurate? You still don't understand. Asked Long Chen. I don't. Meng Fei shook his head. Nobody else understood either. Long Chen's hand suddenly reached out toward Meng Fei like lightning. Two fingers were stabbing at Meng Fei's eyes. This was an ordinary move in the secular world, but it was very evil. Long Chen was as quick as lightning, catching him off guard. The left. Long Chen suddenly let out a shout. Everyone else had yet to react before Meng Fei suddenly dodged to the left. He narrowly avoided Long Chen's attack. Eh? What just happened? Someone from the crowd let out a startled cry. What is it? Senior apprentice brother Long Chen attacked head on. A normal person would react by flying back. Once this person said this, everyone realized it was true. The current situation was bizarre. Why would Meng Fei go left? And how had Long Chen known that he would go left? What Meng Fei was also stunned. He didn't even know how Long Chen had predicted that he would go left. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Please teach me. Actually, this information isn't worth a copper coin. However, if I tell you it in front of everyone, it might cause some danger to you, said Long Chen. I'm not afraid. I just want to know how you did this, said Meng Fei. Long Chen nodded. All right then. The truth is that you're right-footed. Everyone stared blankly. So Long Chen continued. Your right leg is clearly thicker than your left leg and much stronger. Most people use both legs equally, but you use only your right leg for power, while your other leg is for stabilization. After forming a habit of this, you have the muscle memory of instinctively using your right leg for power. With my combat experience, I can easily form a trap for you. The third commander tore off the clothing over his other leg. As Long Chen had said, his uninjured leg was a whole level skinnier. Today, I, Meng Fei, am completely won over. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you are a god amongst men, showing everyone this proof. Meng Fei almost prostrated himself to Long Chen. Long Chen had seen through his weakness and habits with just a glance, and with just a few words, he had helped Xin Li to defeat him. That was practically a divine technique. His perception and deduction abilities were terrifying. Although Long Chen had explained his reasoning, the majority of people were still lost in their shock incapable of believing it. No wonder Long Chen had said that if they had fought, there would no longer be a third commander in this world. Those words had definitely not been bragging. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you are a true expert. I beg of you to tell us about your understanding of the Tao. I hope to learn how to become a true expert as well, asked one disciple worshipfully. I can tell you, 
but you should know I like to talk nonsense. If you listen and end up walking the wrong path, don't blame me, laughed Long Chen. The gazes of these disciples made it so that he couldn't refuse. Yes, this is amazing. The disciples were all delighted and erupted into cheers. Even Xin Li and Meng Fei were excited. They directly opened a martial stage for Long Chen to expound on the Tao. The news quickly spread throughout the headquarters of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Countless disciples and elders surged over to listen. Not only was the plaza packed, but even the surrounding buildings were completely crowded as everyone listened with rapt attention. Looking at these millions of experts staring at him, Long Chen couldn't help but smile. Saying this feels strange but this makes me feel even more nervous than being surrounded by millions of enemies. Why is that? Asked a woman brazenly. Because I rarely use my mouth to speak with others. I'm more used to using my saber to speak for me, said Long Chen. More laughter came from the crowd. This was a novel experience for them. They had heard others expound on the Tao before, but those people had always been completely serious and almost sacred when doing so, making them nervous. Long Chen's way made them feel relaxed and at ease. The truth is really like that. I am not good at talking about the Tao. So my talk won't be quite the same as other people's. For others, they talk a little about this, a little about that. But it's all just nonsense that leaves people feeling like they're floating in the clouds. They only talk about vague things with nothing in them. They probably don't even understand what they themselves are saying. A little about this ancient scripture. A little bit about that one. It sounds profound, but in reality it's all nonsense. That's why I will use a different method. You can ask me questions, and I will answer, said Long Chen. Just like that? Won't that ruin your atmosphere and flow? Asked a disciple. Who cares about the atmosphere? Atmosphere is made to show off, to make oneself look better. Today, I won't play that game with you. Just ask your questions. Anything relating to cultivation, you can ask me about. As long as I can answer, I won't hold back. If I can't answer, I'll just say that I don't know instead of trying to trick everyone, said Long Chen. Long Chen's way of speaking was humorous and natural. Instead of being arrogant, he seemed friendly, without the air of a peerless expert. Then can I ask first, asked a young female disciple excitedly. Go ahead, Long Chen smiled. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, what kind of woman do you like? Asked the disciple, blushing slightly. Long Chen had been prepared for a serious question, and as a result, he almost stumbled to the ground. Didn't we say that we are discussing questions related to cultivation only? Questions about my life are off limits. It's to save time. The woman covered her smile with a hand and retreated. It seemed she was a mischievous tease noveloon.com senior apprentice brother Long Chen. I want to ask how we can get stronger. Asked the next disciple. That depends on whether you want to get stronger or if you have to get stronger. Answered Long Chen. I don't understand. What does that mean? Asked the disciple. It's very simple. Imagine there is a goal in front of you. Under normal circumstances, you would need three months to achieve it. However. If instead you had to complete it in 10 days or you would be killed, you would do your utmost, and in reality, you would be able to finish it within 10 days. However, 10 days also isn't your limit. If you were only given 3 days to finish it or your family would be killed, you would not only break through your limit, but you would use the craziest methods to force your way through. This is not an ordinary path. You will need to reach your limits on every step without the slightest mistake then you'll find that you can still accomplish it within three days. How high a person's limit is cannot be determined by talent but by whether or not you have the motivation to reach that height. In the cultivation world, anything is possible. It just depends on whether you have the motivation, which is why I said it depends on whether you just want to get stronger, or whether you have to get stronger. If you really want to get stronger, then you need a reason to make yourself get stronger. If this reason is strong enough, it will push you forward and unlock the potential in yourself that you didn't even know you had. To put it more simply, you can take me as an example. I am surrounded by experts who want to kill me, but I don't want to die. So I have to do everything I can to get stronger. If there's no opportunity for me to get stronger, 
then I'll create that opportunity. The path behind me is gone. The bridges are burned and the boats are sunk. There is only one way for me. Forward. I will slay all devils and gods who block my path. My life belongs to me, not the heavens. Long Chen's words resounded throughout the plaza. His final point struck them especially hard, causing their blood to heat up. Chapter 1763 It's good to have dreams translator. Born to be my life belongs to me, not the heavens. How many experts thought that inside, but didn't dare to say it out loud. They didn't have the confidence. Ignoring the so-called fate bestowed upon them by the heavenly deos. Just the things that they saw around them made them feel profoundly helpless. Talents. Resources. Qualifications. Environments. Competitions. Not one of these aspects fully pleased them. To use a saying from the secular world, the heart could be higher than the heavens, but life is more fragile than paper. Who didn't want to be at the top? Who didn't want to stand above the crowd? Who didn't want to become a sovereign-like existence? Everyone had dreams but they were just dreams. It was impossible to materialize them in reality. When Long Chen said this, some of the elders of the Martial Heaven Alliance were dissatisfied. Long Chen, although you are a genius, you should know that not everyone can be like you. Everyone's fates are different. Sometimes aiming for realistic things is better than being overambitious, said one of the Life Star Elders. Long Chen smiled. Senior is correct. Your words suit the majority of people. However, you've forgotten one point. Each person is a different seed filled with unknown variables. Even if a seed has already begun to sprout or germinate, even when you think you can see its future, without reaching the end, no one knows what its limit is. When the sovereigns were still growing, did others know that they would become sovereigns? In the end, it's good to have dreams because what if they come true? Not only should you have dreams, but they should also be dreams that everyone thinks are impossible to achieve. That's the only way to give you limitless growth. It's okay if your dreams are absurd. It's okay if others don't approve of your dreams. Only dreams that others mock you for are worth materializing. I will say something that the seniors here will not approve. Our generation, our era cannot be measured according to the theories and principles of our senior generation. Don't say that we're arrogant for this because if we weren't arrogant, would we still be youngsters? Our seniors were also once young, and they also had dreams. It's just that their dreams were ground to dust by the cruelty of reality. However, you were still once young, full of sap and drive, and you also sometimes did some immature things when your heads grew hot. That was a brainless impulse, but this kind of dumb urge is also called hot blood by us. We don't calculate the consequences of each of our actions. Our impulses tell us that if someone bullies us, we'll beat them. If someone acts like a poser in front of us, we'll slap them. If someone dares to harm our family, we'll kill them. We still have these impulses because we are young. But if we didn't even have dreams, would we really be youngsters? Long Chen's words were the words that the youngsters all thought inside. But their sects, their families, their elders, they all told them to think three times before acting to take the long view and have foresight. They disliked that, but they couldn't do anything about it. These words of Long Chen were against the teachings of their seniors, but they resonated with the youngsters, making them cheer. You can have dreams, but you still have to be clear on which dreams are realistic and which are imaginary. Imaginary dreams are just an illusion. Empty thoughts, shouted the elder over the cheering. If it was completely realistic, would it still be a dream? A dream is like a bowl, and if your dream is really only the size of a bowl, your future accomplishments will also only be the size of a little fish that can live in that bowl. That's because you already know your limits, and they become shackles that chain you down. It will be difficult for you to ever grow past the shackles you placed on yourself. If your dream was as large as the sea, then your limit might be a giant whale or even the kunpang. Perhaps you might one day transform from a coon to a pang. You might one day leap out of the sea and soar beyond the heavens. If the coon never had a dream about spreading its wings and flying, it would forever remain a coon. Where did its motivation to transform and soar come from? According to your reasoning, a fish is just a fish and is born to simply swim in the water. For it to fly through the air is not realistic. So if one aims too high, 
Their dreams are imaginary. Long Chen's words were resonating with the youngsters. They were cheering so loudly that the Martial Heaven Alliance was shaking. That elder was ashen. But he didn't know how to argue against this one because the legend of the Kung Pen was something that everyone knew. The Kun was not willing to be restricted to the sea. And it fought against the Heavenly Deos. It was unknown just how many Kun were struck down by the Heavenly Deos. But the Kun would rather die fighting the restrictions of heaven and earth than remain as it was. In the end, the Kun transformed into the Pang. Resulting in the legend of the Kunpang. It was wildly arrogant. Not even placing the heavens in its eyes. It would rather die than submit. Its will was incredibly stubborn. These legends were recorded in scripture. And for Long Chen to use them to make that elder speechless excited the disciples. They could finally contend against these elders. Senior, you don't need to get angry. We're just talking about theory. Since we're talking about dreams. Let me ask you. Do you know a certain phenomenon that is appearing in the cultivation world? Long Chen smiled. A phenomenon the elder looked angry on the surface. But considering how respectful Long Chen was speaking to him. He actually felt some admiration for Long Chen. Considering Long Chen's status and cultivation base, there was no need for Long Chen to be so polite to him. On the surface he was domineering, but inside he was still humble. Rather than an arrogant air, he had an arrogant bone, resulting in his particular charisma. You've seen all kinds of sects. First rate, second rate and third-rate sects that have stable foundations would find it very difficult to ever change from their current state. The strong remain strong, the weak remain weak. Do you know why that is? Asked Long Chen. Isn't it a question of their resources? Powerful sects have more resources, while weaker sects have fewer resources, answered an elder. However, with the previous experience, the elder no longer went against Long Chen and instead used a milder tone. That is only a secondary reason. To give everyone an analogy, if I were to lead my dragon blood legion to one of the random third-rate sects in the eastern Xuan region, without me needing to guide them or give them any resources or any help, they would have the power to kill a second-rate sect within three years. Do you believe that? Asked Long Chen. That doesn't sound possible. One of the elders frowned. It's possible. It's definitely possible, shouted a female disciple. Why? Asked the elder. Because as long as senior apprentice brother Long Chen is present, anything is possible. You don't need to ask me the reason. I'm saying it's possible. So it's definitely possible the woman's strange argument drew out laughter, relieving the tense atmosphere. In truth, I wouldn't need the dragon blood legion. Even if I simply led a group of the experts here, the results would be the same, said Long Chen. It seemed some of the women in the Martial Heaven Alliance were quite passionate. Why is that? It's the same principle that I just argued with the Elder. Dreams. In truth, his principle is not wrong. Having a more realistic goal can allow a person to find their direction faster rather than making them lost and unsteady the Elder's expression improved. Long Chen was giving him a chance to step down. Long Chen continued. According to him, dreams are like a target in the wilderness giving you a direction to go and allowing you to cultivate twice as fast. That's right. That's what I meant. I just didn't explain myself that clearly before. Ugh. How embarrassing that elder clapped his leg. Everyone couldn't help but laugh. The elder that previously rarely spoke or laughed finally showed some emotion. Long Chen smiled and continued. So if a group of experts appeared in a sect, the other disciples would use those experts as their target. Their dream would be to become experts like them. Emulating others is an instinct in humans. Especially when they can see their target within the same environment as them. This kind of natural reaction will cause the disciples to gradually grow. It's a marvelous reaction that cannot be explained when Long Chen put it this way. Everyone came to a sudden understanding. The phenomenon that Long Chen had mentioned was this. This is why the elder said that dreams should be realistic to give you a solid target. I do not disagree with this principle. Just now, I said that if a group of experts appeared in a sect, they would bring a reactionary phenomenon. Then the question is, if a sect had experts that had reached the limit of this world and had no targets left, what would they do? Long Chen's expression was solemn, and his voice resounded in everyone's ears. His words were like hammers striking their heart. 
making their heartbeats quicken. At that time, you would need a dream that exceeds reality. This dream might not be realistic, but I guarantee that this kind of dream is the only one that can break the rules of reality. However far you dream is how far your potential limit is. So again, it's good to have dreams because what if on the off chance that you achieve them? With this, everyone understood what he was saying. Long Chen stood at his current height without having any targets. He relied on his dreams and willpower to grow stronger, forcing the future to give him limitless possibilities. No one had ever heard who Long Chen's master was, nor had they ever heard of anyone who had guided him. What Long Chen had was obtained entirely by himself. Thinking of this, people felt deep veneration for him. Long Chen had just explained his own Tao to everyone without holding back. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Suddenly, a maiden looking to only be 13 years old ran out of the crowd at Long Chen. Chapter 1764 How can the weak defeat the strong translator? Born to be this maiden ran over, startling everyone. She was still very young and still looked childish. She had an innocent smile on her face. When she arrived in front of Long Chen, she immediately hugged him, stunning Long Chen. She then gave him a kiss on his face. Long Chen's jaw dropped. The other disciples' eyes also widened. This maiden was definitely direct. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, I like you, but I know I'm not a match for you. However, that's fine. I'm still young, so I'll work hard just like you said. After all, what if my dream comes true? I'll definitely work hard for you. I heard that you're quite lecherous and have many beautiful women by your side. So there will definitely be a chance for me, exclaimed the maiden worshipfully. Who did you hear that from? Long Chen's expression stiffened. He was facing an innocent 13-year-old maiden. He didn't know how to explain himself. Lecherous was not a good adjective. He, you don't need to know who I heard it from. In any case, I will work hard to make this dream come true. The maiden laughed and ran off leaving behind her tinkling laughter. Her laughter was completely innocent and unaffected. Senior apprentice brother, we also. Suddenly, a huge group of women began running over to Long Chen. Hey, don't mess around. Let's get back to the topic. I'm only accepting questions about the martial Dao Long Chen hastily waved his hand. If Tang Wan'er were to learn of this, a layer of his skin would be stripped off. That awkward appearance of his made countless female disciples laugh. They found that the Long Chen whose power shook the world also had a cute side. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. How can I make myself stronger? Asked a disciple. Long Chen became serious again. To become stronger. Dreams are only a foundation. The motivation to get stronger. Once you have this motivation, you will need to learn techniques and skills. The important thing is that while you learn new things, you cannot deviate from your original path. The first thing you need to do is make clear to yourself your personal cultivation path. In this world, the only one who understands you best is yourself. You know what you want to do, and you are your best teacher. Don't have blind self-confidence in yourself, but do not sell yourself short either. Have confidence in your decisions. Make that a firm belief. This point is very important. Many people are cultivating blindly. They see something, feel that it's amazing, and so they want to learn it. Then they see something else and want to learn it as well. But in truth, on the martial path, any kind of energy or ability can be trained to the same level if taken to the peak. 3,000 major deos, 100,000 minor deos. In my opinion, any of these deos can allow one to become a god or immortal if trained to the peak. Splitting deos into major and minor ones is a mistake. Deos are not split that way. They are only split that way because people later added such distinctions. As for why they did that, it's because the so-called major deos had instances of people who managed to succeed in becoming gods or immortals. So they were called major deos. As for the minor deos, many people believe that this path is a severed path that cannot reach the peak. But if a supreme expert were to continue on this severed path and this expert managed to reach the peak with this minor Tao, it would also become a major Tao. That's why I believe that the Tao is not split into big or small ones. Techniques are not better or worse. People are not innately higher or lower. As long as you can continue on your path to the end, you will benefit endlessly this time. 
Even the elders clapped to his words. When others expounded on the Tao, they always brought up ancient scriptures that sounded profound but were difficult to understand. They put the burden of understanding on the people listening. On the other hand, Long Chen was using his own viewpoint to explain his arguments. They were simple enough for even a child to understand. His final point, that the Tao is not split into big or small ones, that techniques are not better or worse, that people are not innately higher or lower, was especially important. It opened a whole new world to people. Many people abandoned the things that they excelled in the most because of the artificial distinction between major and minor deos. They pursued the major deos because only that path could lead them to becoming a god or immortal. However, Long Chen had put this principle forward clearly and given them a direction. Even if you cultivated a major Tao, how many people really became a god or immortal? As for cultivating a minor Tao, although people said that it was a severed path, who could say for sure that someone wouldn't be able to break that limit once they reached the end? In the end, the two were the same. There was no difference in the difficulty of the major and minor Daos. If you walked a minor Tao, you wouldn't necessarily become a god, and if you walked a major Tao, you also wouldn't definitely be able to become an immortal. In the end, it depended on a person's effort. Choosing what you excelled in the most, even if it was just a minor Tao, was better than discarding your original heart to cultivate a major Tao. There was no need to blindly follow the crowd when it came to your cultivation. That would just harm yourself. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen when you run into bottlenecks in your cultivation, what should you do? Ask the next disciple. If you encounter a bottleneck, it means you've cultivated too quickly, and that your cultivation base has far exceeded your mental realm. If you forcibly break through, it will become a heart devil. When it comes to this point, you should believe your elders. I'm sure they've already told you this. That's why many experts will tell you to go into seclusion and calmly meditate to increase your mental realm. This is a very traditional cultivation method. However, I don't fully approve of this method. When my brothers run into bottlenecks, I will tell them to stop cultivating and go do whatever they want to do. Some go fishing, some go drinking, and some even go fighting with others. Some might even go begging on the streets. They forget that they are a cultivator and return to their roots. The goal of seclusion is to forcibly calm yourself. And this method is more suited to seniors who have experienced everything that they want out of life. As for youngsters, our hearts are naturally restless. So trying to forcibly calm ourselves will be twice as hard. Doing what you want to do will allow you to reach the realm of forgetting yourself. In truth, the goal is the same as going into seclusion but there is an immense difference in effects. At the very least, in my Dragon Blood Legion, people rarely run into bottlenecks because our mental realms far surpass our cultivation basis, said Long Chen. This method of Long Chen's made the disciples cheer. This was their first time they had heard of someone combining cultivation with playing. There was no need to be so grave and inflexible, although they didn't know whether this method was effective for them. At the very least, the Dragonblood Legion was the strongest Legion in the Martial Heaven Alliance. They had over 10,000 people who never ran into bottlenecks. So this method had to be effective on at least some people. They had an urge to go try it immediately. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen. When fighting, how can you effectively defeat your opponent? This isn't something I can answer. I don't know how others fight, but I have a belief that I will definitely not lose to anyone in the same realm as me. Even if the opponent was a god, as long as they were at the same level as me, they wouldn't be able to win, said Long Chen. That made everyone's hearts pound. His voice was completely calm as if this was a completely ordinary thing. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, are you saying that people must have absolute confidence in themselves? asked a disciple. Long Chen shook his head, apologetically saying, this is something very difficult to explain with words. It's an indescribable realm. Belief is just one part of it. After countless fights, after countless times blood dyed my clothes red, after countless brushes with death, I have cultivated a kind of power that is difficult to put into words. That power makes it so that as long as I am facing an expert in the same realm, I will definitely not lose to them. Sorry, there's really no way for me to describe this feeling. 
Although these disciples didn't understand what he was saying, their worship for him grew. This kind of confidence was definitely something only a peerless genius would possess. They were far too lacking. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, what should we do when encountering enemies stronger than us? Asked a female disciple. Run. Long Chen answered without hesitation. Ah, that disciple looked at him oddly. This response was difficult to accept. If you can't beat them, wouldn't you be a fool if you don't run? Long Chen shrugged. But... Can someone weaker not defeat someone stronger? She asked. Long Chen smiled and shook his head. Saying someone weaker can defeat someone stronger is a defective statement in itself. It's a mistaken idea. In this world, there is no such thing as someone weaker defeating someone stronger. You might bring up many examples in history of weaker people beating someone stronger. But you've been misled. In truth, the weak who defeated the strong were never truly weak. For example, if a bull were to fight with an insect, in your eyes, the bull is strong, while the insect is weak. If the insect had poison and bit the bull, poisoning the bull to death, you would see that as someone weaker defeating someone stronger. However, the bull here was not actually the stronger one, while the insect was not actually the weaker one. Even calling them strong or weak is a mistake in perception. The bull has a bigger body, so in terms of power it's stronger but you have failed to take into account the insect's poison. So don't be fooled by the false concept of the weak defeating the strong. Everyone present is an elite. You're all powerful celestials. When fighting ordinary life star experts, I trust you can easily win. But to say that you are weaker because you are only at the soul transformation realm would be false. So there is no such thing as the weak defeating the strong because being weak is just an idea. As long as you have a tooth with strong enough venom, even a soul transformation disciple can kill a nether passage expert. To put it even simpler, if you want to defeat a supreme expert, you need a venomous tooth. So that's what it was. No wonder senior apprentice brother Long Chen could kill a nether passage expert's clone. The experts present immediately connected this with the story of how Long Chen had slain Di Long's clone. Their eyes blazed with passion. Chapter 1765 Long Chen's Sword Dao Translator Born to be Long Chen's words were completely different from what they had always been taught. Although they were somewhat against classical conventions, they contained philosophical theories that opened a new world to them. All of this was based on his own experiences. He had come to understand them through his own circumstances, and he was sharing them without hesitation. Even some of the old elders were nodding inside. Although Long Chen was still young, he had managed to create a whole new path and understood so many principles. Thinking about Long Chen's special course in life, they knew that his current accomplishments were not the result of happenstance. Long Chen truly had the ability to reach his current height. Furthermore, to be able to share these understandings with people without hesitation required courage that few people possessed. So even those elders that had felt his words to be wrong in the beginning were starting to have their opinions subtly shift. Long Chen, senior apprentice brother, what is the Tao asked the next disciple. Hearing this question, Long Chen chortled. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, is this question of mine really laughable? Asked the bewildered disciple. No, no, this question of yours just makes me think of a funny thing from the past, said Long Chen. What funny thing? Can you tell us, that young maiden that had kissed Long Chen shouted from the crowd. Yes, we want to know too. We're very curious about everything about you. More maidens spoke up, emboldened by the first. Long Chen smiled. After hesitating, he told the story from when he was in the eastern wasteland. In the immortal intoxication pavilion, he, Mo Nian, Zi Yan, Yu Tong, and others had discussed what was the King Dao, what was the Hegemon Dao. And what was the humane Tao? Long Chen told them his answers to these questions, and countless disciples held their sides from laughing so hard. What is the King Tao to directly smash pompous people? What is the hegemon Tao to smash those who aren't pompous together with them? What is the humane Tao to give a warning before you smash them? The disciples and even the elders laughed at this exchange. They hadn't expected that this figure that could strike fear in the hearts of both the righteous path and the corrupt path, this existence that gave Pill Valley, the ancient races, 
and the Schwen beasts a giant headache, also had such a funny side. However, while everyone else was laughing, Long Chen didn't. Instead, he seemed a bit sad. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, rumor is that you and Fairy Zi Yan seemed to have a relationship. Why have the two of you ended up in your current state? Asked a woman curiously. As soon as she said this, she felt countless glares from others. This question was clearly inappropriate. Long Chen and Zi Yan were both peerless figures. They had met all the way back in the eastern wasteland. Then they had run into each other by chance in the Grand Xia ancient nation. One was an unrivaled hero, and the other was a nation toppling beauty. Rumors had long since started about the relationship between the two of them. However, in the dragon slaughtering convention, the two of them had ended up fighting. Although Long Chen had defeated Zi Yan, he hadn't killed her but had said heartbreaking words at the end. Everyone could see that the two of them had true feelings for each other. Nevertheless, Long Chen had slain Shen Bijin and had caused chaos for the elusive music immortal palace. As for Zi Yan, she was heir to the elusive music immortal palace. How could the two of them end up together? That woman had definitely thought of all that, causing her to ask Long Chen this question. However, this question was clearly picking at one of Long Chen's scabs. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. The woman immediately apologized. Long Chen forced a smile. It's fine. Zi Yan and I might be enemies, but she is someone I respect. Even if I were to die to her hands one day, I would not hate her. There might be no way around the future, but all I want is to have a clear conscience in the end. Although that was what Long Chen said, he felt a sour emotion in his heart. He might not be afraid of an army of thousands, of mountains of corpses, of seas of blood, but this towering mountain known as romantic relationships possessed a heavy pressure. Perhaps fate was just playing with them, making both Long Chen and Zi Yan feel helpless. He had never believed in fate, but Zi Yan did. It was troublesome. Countless people felt sorrow for Long Chen. They also sympathized with him. It seemed that no matter how strong someone was, there were always things they couldn't do anything about. Let's get back to the previous question. What is the Tao? Many people explain the Tao to be something ephemeral and imperceptible. In truth, they have no idea what the Tao is, so they explain it in such a way to cover up their own lack of knowledge. The Tao. The simplest explanation I can give is the principle that all things in the universe are connected. There is a natural cycle to the world, while the Tao in itself is not something that exists on its own. Look up at the stars in the sky. They are connected but apart. In order to see the world more clearly, it was necessary to give a name to the things that they could not explain with words. That name was the Tao. As for our martial Tao, it is just one path amongst the endless Taos. So the Tao can also be explained as a path. The so-called 3,000 major deos and 100,000 minor deos that we have are just our own cultivation paths. They are not the universe's deos. Compared to the universe, those deos are but a speck of dust. The martial da refers to a path to reach the peak of martial power. When you stand at the peak, you can become a god or immortal. If you were to liken cultivation to a mountain, then each person's cultivation dao is a path up the mountain. Each path leads to the peak of the mountain, which is why I said that there is no such differentiation between a major Tao and a minor Tao. The most important thing is to pick a path that is suited to you. The large path of the major Tao is straight and well trod, and the quickest way to the peak. But because it is straight, it is dull and boring. The mist makes it so you can't see the peak of the mountain, so people get lost in its flatness. The small path of the minor Tao is rugged and winding filled with dangers. It looks like it spirals, but the difficulties temper a person's will. A major Tao is good, a minor Tao is fine. Either way, success means ascension. It's just that each person experiences different things. If you choose the winding path, you'll see more scenery and experience more things. Once you succeed in reaching the peak, your realm will definitely be higher than others that trod the straight path. After picking a path, you must be unwavering. You must be determined to reach the end of your path. This determination is called the Deo Heart. The Deo Heart cannot be rattled. Perhaps you see someone walking a large, unhindered path with no dangers. So you want to walk it. 
Perhaps you see someone experiencing countless amazing things that no one else can experience on the small path. So you follow them onto the small path. In your hesitation, you lose sight of your original goal and direction. That is taboo for the Marshall Dow. All right. Today's lecture can end here. Right now, I'm not feeling completely like myself. Let's discuss the Dow on another day. Everyone couldn't help being disappointed. But seeing his current expression, they knew that Long Chen's mental state was a bit chaotic now. That was clearly because of bringing up Zi Yan. He couldn't completely forget her. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. How about you show us some of your skill before leaving? Before Long Chen could leave, Xin Li hastily ran over. In truth, everyone saw that Long Chen's mind was a bit absent now. Hence, Xin Li was trying to distract Long Chen from his thoughts and make him feel better. After all, his detailed and generous explanation of the Tao had opened a whole new world for people. They didn't want to see him like this. Battle was definitely the best way of distracting him. During battle, a person had to be totally focused and forget everything else. However, no one here would dare to fight against him. So they could only ask him to show some skill to open everyone's eyes to the world. All right, Xin Li, you're a sword cultivator. Since my brother Zifeng is also a sword cultivator, I will embarrass myself by imitating Zifeng's sword Dao for you. Long Chen smiled. Hearing that, Xin Li was delighted. He immediately handed his own precious sword to him. It was a quasi-divine item. It went without saying that the central Xuan region's experts were different. They were rich. Long Chen received the sword and held the hilt with his left hand. His robes and hair began to move as if there was a breeze. But there was no wind. A sharp aura rose that made everyone jump in fright. Long Chen's aura wasn't fluctuating at all. He hadn't used his spiritual yuan. But his sharp aura continued to rise. People felt like needles were stabbing their skin. And they involuntarily retreated. Rumble. Heaven and earth shuddered as the sharp aura reached a certain level. It was as if the world could not bear this and would explode. How is this possible? He's not even using spiritual yuan. Not only is he not using spiritual yuan, but he's also not using heavenly Tao energy or even spiritual strength. Just what kind of energy is this? This is the might of the sword Tao. It's actually able to suppress the heavenly Daos. Xin Li gulped. Zifeng's heavenly Tao energy from back in the day was erased by sect leader Ling Yunzi. The sect leader once said that the sword Tao is situated outside the heavenly Daos. So using the heavenly Daos to use the sword Tao is inherently wrong. I am not a sword cultivator, but I am simply using my mind to imitate Zifeng's sword intent and merge it with my sword. Although this imitation is about 80% accurate, its actual power is a far cry below it. When Zifeng's sword intent appears, not even the heavenly Daos can block it. As for me, the heavenly Daos are clearly rejecting me. So I need to use the sword Tao to suppress the heavenly Daos. That already puts me at a disadvantage. However, I'm used to being enemies with the heavenly Daos. Look closely. The true sword Tao is different from what you've been using. Novaloon.com Long Chen suddenly unsheathed the sword. A dragon's cry rang out, and a dazzling sword light pierced through the clouds. He slashed his sword at the martial stage. Chapter 1766 Elders Makings Things Difficult Translator Born to be this was an unstoppable sword intent. One that tore through the void and split apart the laws of the world. When Long Chen's sword landed on the martial stage, the formation activated, and a huge defensive barrier appeared around it. However, Long Chen's sword slashed right through the barrier without being stopped in the slightest. What everyone including the elders were completely stunned to see Long Chen break the barrier without using the slightest effort. This defense was supported by an ancient formation, and this martial stage was a product of the ancient era. The method to create it had long since been lost. The barrier's defensive power was monstrous, and it was so great that even Xin Li and Meng Fei were unable to even cause a ripple when their attacks landed on it. However, when it came to Long Chen's attack, it was as if the barrier had lost all its defensive power. It didn't even have a chance to ripple before being cut through like tofu. So this is the will of the sword Dao. It possesses the power of ignoring all defenses. No wonder Zifeng's offensive power is comparable to when I use the fifth form of split the heavens. 
Long Chen himself was also stunned. In order to give some pointers to Xin Li, he had attacked while imitating Yu Zifeng's sword intent, wanting to show Xin Li this unstoppable will. He hadn't been aiming to use such power, but when he had attacked, the nine-star hegemon body art had automatically activated. Not good. Long Chen's expression suddenly changed, but it was too late for him to stop his attack. Boom. Long Chen's sword chi split the martial stage and then continued toward a giant palace in the distance. There was another pavilion on the way that was cut into two pieces. The cut areas were as smooth as glass. That's the martial heaven palace. All the disciples turned pale. That palace was the core of the martial heaven alliance, as well as the residents of the alliance head. Boom. Just before Long Chen's sword chi could strike the palace, a black and white hand appeared in the sky and slammed the sword chi apart. You little bastard. What did I do to you? Hu Jinying's furious row rang out from within the palace. The void twisted, and she appeared right beside Long Chen, grabbing and twisting his ear. Ah, oh, it hurts Alliance head. I was wrong, shouted Long Chen. He also hadn't expected the sword chi he had unleashed randomly would be comparable to the fifth form of split the heavens. Although its destructive power wasn't as great, its power had all been concentrated, increasing its sharpness. If Long Chen had known this would happen, he would have held back. Now, he had almost destroyed the Martial Heaven Palace. You deserve it. Who asked you to show off? Evil Moon's voice rang out to mock him. How could I have known this would happen? Raged Long Chen. Your cultivation technique can suppress all deos. Did you not know that? When I say all deos, I don't mean the deos of heaven and earth, but even higher level deos. The Sword Dao is above the heavenly deos but it is included in the deos your cultivation technique suppresses. That's why you can use the sword Dao. Although the power of your sword Dao is just borrowed and isn't innate to you, it's all right. In other words, in the future, you can show off by acting like a sword cultivator. Long Chen suddenly understood. When he had been imitating Zifeng, he had felt a strange pull from the sword that had caused the nine-star hegemon body art to activate. Seeing Long Chen's ear being twisted by the Alliance head, the experts watching were startled, but they also found it funny. You little brat, everything here is ancient and irreplaceable. You think you have the money to replace everything? Cursed Ku Jinying. No, no, I'm sure that the little money I have is nothing in your eyes. You're the big boss. Ku Jinying's expression was dark, but in truth, she wasn't that angry. It was just that Long Chen truly knew how to cause trouble. He had to be beaten back to the earth before he ascended to the heavens. Hu Jinying had actually been listening to his explanation of the Tao the entire time, and she was full of admiration for him. He was only in his twenties, but he was a monster. His martial path was completely different from other people's, and he didn't give a damn about the heavens or the earth. His choices were different from most people's. Hence. The only way he could have reached his current level was with great willpower and intelligence. What excited Ku Jinying the most was that Long Chen had managed to unify the junior generation of the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples as soon as he had arrived. Before that, a large portion of these disciples had had biased views of Long Chen due to the rumors from the outside world. Now, no one believed those lies. Alliance head, I was just showing Xin Li how to use the sword Dao. By treating me like this, you aren't giving me face, don't you think? Only then did Ku Jinying release Long Chen's ear. That attack of yours was truly powerful. It ignored all defenses and possessed great killing power. However, your own domineering air was so heavy that it suppressed the will of the Sword Dao. You forced the Sword Dao to submit and show its power, which resulted in a much weaker effect. You are really like that old ghost. Swords don't suit you. You'd rather use sabers, so don't start trying to be a sword cultivator. Alliance head, your vision is truly brilliant. Your wisdom is like a beacon in the darkness. Long Chen immediately began to suck up. Stop. HMPH. I'm not the old ghost, and I don't like it when others suck up to me. Hu Jinying immediately waved her hand. Turning to Xin Li, she asked, Do you understand anything from Long Chen's display? Fast. It was even faster than mine, said Xin Li, ashamed. He was a sword cultivator, but Long Chen was even faster with a sword than him. You're wrong. Long Chen's sword wasn't fast. 
that's just a misperception because his will moved first. Based on your cultivation base and age, it should be about time for you to touch that realm. When you fight with others, don't think about how you're supposed to unleash a move. Just raise your sword and unleash it naturally. Then you'll have reached the next realm, said Kujinying. Shin Li's eyes lit up. He thought of something, and his whole body quivered with excitement. Go back and properly meditate on this. Everyone else can scatter. After saying that, Kujinying pulled Long Chen to the Martial Heaven Palace. Alliance head, you wouldn't be finding a place with no witnesses to beat me, right? Asked Long Chen uneasily. Kujinying burst into laughter from Long Chen's apprehensive appearance. Don't be weird. I'm bringing you to a good place. The two of them walked into the Martial Heaven Palace. They entered an ancient corridor. At the end was a giant temple that reached into the clouds. It emitted a desolate air. There were nine elders in front of the temple calmly watching Kujinying and Long Chen walk over. What shocked Long Chen was that these nine elders did not bow to Kujinying. Instead, they merely nodded their heads slightly. As for when they looked at Long Chen, he sensed that they were scanning him. Two of them even used faint spiritual strength when they looked into his eyes. That was to make Long Chen feel anxious and expose his inner secrets. Being old is not a reason for others to respect you if all your years of life are wasted. Even at such an age, do you not even understand the most basic manners? Long Chen didn't know what these nine elders were doing, but he could sense their hostility. Overbearing arrogant narrow-hearted, petty, four of the elders looked coldly at him. They didn't get angry, but they replied icily. Decrepit. Long Chen directly retorted. The nine of them blocked his way. Clearly, they were here to stop him from entering the temple. Although he didn't know why they were targeting him, he was never one to submit to other people. Using spiritual strength to investigate other people's secrets was inherently an offensive action. If this place wasn't the Martial Heaven Alliance and he didn't know who these nine people were, Long Chen would have directly struck back with his spiritual strength. Although they were old, these people were only at the half-step nether passage realm. I know you've always been against Long Chen, but you've also seen everything that he's done after arriving at the Martial Heaven Alliance. If you still don't want to accept it, then I'll have to call for a vote and see just how many people are really against him, said Ku Jin Ying indifferently. HMPH, your preparations aren't bad. One of the elders smiled coldly. His expression was strange. Perhaps it was because he was so old, but his expression was unclear. It was most likely a mocking smile. Fuck off. Do you think I don't dare to do anything to you? Cursed Kujinying, pointing her finger at that elder. Clearly the elder's meaning was that Kujinying had planned for those disciples to support Long Chen. Kujinying had always been above board with her actions and disdained to do such things. She was immediately enraged upon being accused of such a thing. Alliance head, calm your anger. The sixth elder has always been one to say what was on his mind. Don't take offense. Since you want to cling to your own way, we can't do anything about it, said the lead elder. Since you can't do anything about it, get out of my way, raged Kujinying. The nine elders each took out a long key and inserted it into nine places on the gate. Only then did the gate slowly open. Seeing their devious smiles, Long Chen's eyes narrowed. Chapter 1767 Grand Elders Translator Born to be the gate slowly opened. An ancient air poured out, but unexpectedly, four statue-like elders were blocking the path inside. The four elders' robes were tattered and broken. If their eyes weren't open, they might really be taken for statues because there wasn't the slightest aura of life on their bodies. Grand Elders Ku Jinying let out a startled cry upon seeing those four ancient figures. Upon seeing them, Ku Jinying's expression sank. Killing intent appeared in her eyes. For this kind of minor matter, you bastards actually disturbed the four grand elders. Are your heads full of crap? Alliance head, you refused to listen to our advice. You were so stubborn that nothing we did helped. Hence, we could only ask the four grand elders to make a decision said one of the elders indifferently. Fuck off. Do you realize what disturbing the four grand elders signifies? Chi Jin Ying was shuddering from rage. She had an urge to kill these nine right now. Jin Ying, even after so many years, you still have this temper. One of the four grand elders opened his mouth. 
His voice was raspy and weak as if he might collapse at any time. Grand Uncle Master, they. Hu Jinying pointed at the nine elders, her eyes reddening slightly. Child, you're still the same as back then, still dealing things with your emotions. You have to be calm when you encounter things because you're the one in charge. If you can't even control your own emotions, how can you control the family rebuked the Grand Elder, but his voice was pampering. Everyone could tell that this Grand Elder treated Ku Jinying as his own child, but you were startled awake. Your longevity Ku Jinying's expression sank again. These four Grand Elders were the ones with the greatest seniority in the entire Martial Heaven Alliance. They were incredibly powerful Nether Passage experts, but even Nether Passage experts were still cultivators of the mortal world. Their longevity was still limited. In order to extend their own longevity, the four of them had entered a hibernation state. The four of them were a secret of the Martial Heaven Alliance and also their strongest trump card. Being woken cost them their longevity, which was no minor matter considering that their life energy was about to run out. For this, the nine elders had startled the four grand elders. They hadn't accomplished anything with this, while it came with such a terrible cost. Hu Jinying wished to kill the nine of them right now. It's fine. Everyone dies. Our lives have already been given to the Martial Heaven Alliance. Child, don't feel bad. Furthermore, we're quite excited to be woken at this time. The Great Era has descended, and we get to see it, comforted the Grand Elder. Hearing that, Hu Jinying fell quiet. The four Grand Elders' gazes concentrated on Long Chen. You have the aura of the old wine ghost on you exclaimed one of them. When that grand elder said the old wine ghost, Long Chen suddenly thought of the wine god palace's high priest. Correct. It is definitely the old wine ghost's aura. It seems he has advanced from his past level. One of the other grand elders nodded. Are the four of you talking about the wine god palace's high priest? Asked Long Chen. Arrogant. How dare you speak to the grand elders? Pow. Fuck off. Long Chen directly slapped the elder that had interjected. Caught off guard, that elder's teeth went flying. If Long Chen hadn't held back, that slap would have slain the elder. These nine fellows were too idiotic. Little fellow, this move of yours is pretty good. The four grand elders' eyes lit up when they saw the slap. Rather than scolding him, they actually praised him. You overpraise me. Long Chen cupped his fists toward them. The other elders' expressions completely changed. Originally, they had been about to shout at Long Chen for suddenly attacking, but seeing the Grand Elders acting like this, they swallowed their cursing. Hu Jinying's expression improved after that slap as though she had slapped them herself. It was somewhat satisfying. However, seeing Long Chen treating the Grand Elders so nonchalantly, she didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Cupping fists to someone was generally for people in the same seniority level. One of these grand elders was her own grand uncle master. He was two generations above her. The other three were even older. So old that she didn't even know how old. However, Long Chen was actually treating them like they were brothers. Leaving Ku Jinying speechless. You're quite sincere. Laughed one of the grand elders. I have a bit of wine that the high priest gave me. Should we go drink it somewhere? Long Chen took out a jug. This was the top quality wine made by the high priest, and it would increase a person's comprehension ability. Long Chen had once drunk it while testing how to merge Starfall with that mysterious rune, which resulted in him creating the world annihilation flame lotus. However, he didn't dare to waste the high priest's wine, so he never drank it outside of times he was focusing on gaining insights. Long Chen had yet to open the lid when a dense wine fragrance filled the air. Just smelling it would refresh a person's mind and open their pores, making them feel like they were being basked in divine light. The four grand elders involuntarily gulped. Wait a moment. We should talk about proper matters first, or this would be viewed as a bribe. Hu Jinying's grand uncle master stopped Long Chen. All right, then I'll start drinking first while you talk. Long Chen really did pour himself a bowl of wine and drank it. As a result, the wine fragrance spread so far that they heard quite a few startled cries ringing out from the distance. The fragrance could be smelled throughout the Martial Heaven Alliance. Long Chen, don't be rude. Hu Jinying shouted. She herself wasn't too fond of wine, but she saw that the four grand elders were staring at the wine jug closely. Yes, 
Long Chen tossed the wine jug to the side. One of the Grand Elders caught it. This is, whether or not this matter succeeds. Let me show my filial respect in place of the Alliance head. To tell the truth, I was a bit unwilling. So I just drank a mouthful first to quench my thirst. Since the Alliance head treats me like her son and is also so close to you, even if I was unwilling, I would still have to bring it out, said Long Chen helplessly. Upon hearing that, Hu Jinying's expression softened. Although Long Chen had caused her endless trouble with his fearless nature, he cared deeply about relationships. These four grand elders were clearly infatuated with that wine, and Hu Jinying had assumed that Long Chen would use it as a bargaining chip. But unexpectedly, he had directly given them this bargaining chip. If you do this, you'll embarrass us. One of the grand elders smiled. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Although I have no relationship with you, just based on the face of the alliance head, I would have to do it. As for our discussion, that is another matter. It would be best not to mix up the two, said Long Chen. Not bad, little fellow. You have some daring one of the grand elders that hadn't spoken yet finally said some words of praise. He directly took the wine jug without the slightest embarrassment. All right, then since you're so direct, we won't beat around the bush. We've already heard a bit about your matter. Before we go any further, I have a few questions to ask you, said Ku Jinying's grand uncle master. Please go ahead. Long Chen knew that the real problem had come. Clearly. Hu Jinying's reward for him was so big that even she wasn't able to just randomly give it to others. With the four grand elders being woken, this reward couldn't be ordinary. Whether or not he would obtain it would be based on his responses to the grand elders' questions. What is the goal of your cultivation to live to live with dignity, and to make sure the people beside me can live with dignity as well? Said Long Chen without hesitation. The grand elder nodded and continued. How do you differentiate between good and bad people? I never differentiate between good or bad people. That has nothing to do with me. I only differentiate between friends and enemies. As long as they're my enemy, whether they're a good person or a bad person, if they want to kill me, I will mercilessly fight back. I definitely won't resign myself to my fate just because my enemy is a good person, said Long Chen. Don't you feel like that's a bit extreme? What if there was a misunderstanding somewhere? Wouldn't you end up accidentally killing good people? Why not find some other way to resolve your problems? Asked the Grand Elder expressionlessly. I don't have the time. I am in a race against time. And anything that slows me down could take my life. Again, I want to live with dignity. And make sure the people beside me can live with dignity. I don't provoke others but others shouldn't provoke me because anyone who blocks my path will be killed without mercy, said Long Chen decisively. The nine elders smiled when they heard this. They knew that Long Chen had essentially lost his chance. One of the grand elders frowned and said, that's too arbitrary. Randomly slaughtering innocent people. How are you any different from the corrupt path? I didn't provoke anyone, but I'm being chased by a pack of idiots all day. Aren't I the innocent one? Why can't I fight back? Long Chen smiled coldly, thinking about how many idiots he had encountered on his path. Whether it was in the eastern wasteland or the central plains, he sneered. There were so many of them that he couldn't kill them all. As his cultivation base grew, more of them appeared. The more he thought about it, the angrier he grew. Innocent? He was the most innocent. Long Chen. Hu Jinying hastily tried to interject. It's fine. Young people need to be like this. If they were spiritless, wouldn't they be like us old people? Hu Jinying's granduncle master was not angry. However, he then said, I heard you have established your own dragon blood legion. Then tell me, if there comes a day that the Martial Heaven Alliance's millions and millions of experts were in danger at the same time as your dragon blood legion was in danger, when their lives were in the balance and you could only choose one. What would you do? Chapter 1768 A Peerless Priceless Treasure Translator Born to be I would choose the Dragon Blood Legion. Long Chen replied without any hesitation. Then you don't care that it was the Martial Heaven Alliance that raised you. Without the Martial Heaven Alliance, would you still be where you are today? From the start, we knew that you had a wolf's heart and never viewed the Martial Heaven Alliance as your home, sneered one of the elders. 
This elder was the leader of the nine elders and the one with the greatest authority. He was also very against giving Long Chen his reward. Hence, disturbing the four grand elders was his idea. Of course, he had been supported by the others, or he would not have the authority to disturb the grand elders. Now that Long Chen had immediately chosen to abandon the Martial Heaven Alliance, he immediately jumped into the conversation. It was precisely because he had the greatest authority of the nine elders that he was the one speaking the most. After being slapped by Long Chen, he used this chance to take revenge. What a joke. When did you ever raise me? Shameless bastard. Tell me how you raised me. Sneered Long Chen. You. That elder immediately recalled that Long Chen was not a direct disciple of the Martial Heaven Alliance. The Martial Heaven Alliance had truly not raised him. However, he still argued, weren't you raised by the Zhuangshan Dao sect? If it weren't for the Martial Heaven Alliance's protection, your Zhuangshan Dao sect would have long since been destroyed by the corrupt path or devoured by other sects. Without the Zhuangshan Dao sect, would you have reached your current level? So this is how you repay gratitude Long Chen disdainfully said. Do you have the slightest sense of shame? I am a disciple of the Zhuangshan Dao sect, but everything I have was obtained through my own merit. The Zhuangshan Dao sect raised me for the Zhuangshan Dao sect's profit. There is no master-subordinate relationship between us. Instead, it's a mutually beneficial cooperation. The Zhuangshan Dao sect treated me like family. So I can bleed my last drop of blood for the Zhuangshan Dao sect. But that doesn't represent that the Zhuangshan Dao sect can control my actions. As for the Martial Heaven Alliance, it is nothing more than a cooperation between the Righteous Path sects. Don't act like the Zhuangshan Dao sect's rise has anything to do with your Martial Heaven Alliance. The rewards we won were obtained through risking our lives. Let me put it to you this way. I have no sense of belonging when it comes to the Martial Heaven Alliance. Hu Jin Ying's expression changed slightly. These arrogant words were a bit hurtful, but Long Chen's following words touched her. However, the Alliance head treats me as family, so if the Alliance head was in trouble, I can risk my life to save her. However, it is only due to my relationship with the Alliance head and has nothing to do with the Martial Heaven Alliance. As for you old ghosts, you should burn incense as thanks to your ancestors that I don't kill you right now. You actually want me to sacrifice my people to save you? Tell me, are you idiots? You, you're completely disgraceful and unfilial shouted the head elder furiously. Put your claws away, or I'll kill you regardless of the four grand elders being present. Long Chen's expression suddenly darkened, and killing intent appeared in his eyes. That icy and sinister killing intent locked onto the head elder. That elder's expression completely changed. In that instant, he felt like a sharp blade was pressed against his neck. Even with the four grand elders present, he didn't feel the slightest bit safe. It was like no one could save him from being killed by Long Chen. When Long Chen's killing intent locked onto the elder, the four grand elders' expressions changed. Long Chen's killing intent was too dense, too terrifying. It was condensed of the resentment of the countless experts he had killed. Even a half-step nether passage expert was terrified by this killing intent. His heart had fractured, and in this state, Long Chen would be able to kill him instantly. The elder trembled and was covered in sweat. Although he tried to act calm, he was unable to conceal his terror. Long Chen's gaze was like the gaze of a death god. Although he knew that Long Chen most likely wouldn't kill him, he still couldn't control himself. Long Chen's words are not wrong. The Martial Heaven Alliance is just an alliance, and to put it frankly, everyone is just cooperating. Other sects are also like this. The disciples go to sects because of their resources, while the sects accept disciples due to their talent, said Ku Jin Ying's grand uncle master. Only then did Long Chen retract his killing intent. The elder staggered back and almost collapsed on the ground. Ku Jin Ying's grand uncle master continued, Long Chen. Let me continue asking you a few things. If we gave you the reward, then if Ku Jin Ying was no longer in the position of alliance ahead, would you still fight for the Martial Heaven Alliance? Long Chen shook his head. Most likely not. No matter how great the reward, it's not as valuable as my life. In other words, if this reward was given to you, you would view it only as a favor from Ku Jin Ying. Correct Long Chen didn't view the various powers he knew as friends. 
powers themselves did not have those emotions, other than the heaven-splitting battle sect, the wine god palace, the original devil race, and the spirit race, he didn't feel any sense of belonging to any power, that included the Zhuangshan Dao sect. The reason he was loyal to the Zhuangshan Dao sect was because the current Zhuangshan Dao sect had Li Xiangxuan. The Zhuangshan Dao sect that had Li Xiangxuan in it was his home, but without Li Xiangxuan, it would not be his home. The Martial Heaven Alliance was the same. He only acknowledged Ku Jinying, but without Ku Jinying, he wouldn't care about the Martial Heaven Alliance. As long as someone treated him sincerely, he would sincerely repay them. But powers cared about profit, not feelings. So other than a few powers, Long Chen didn't have any friendship with the others. He only had friendships with a few people inside them, and they were the only ones he cared about, ignoring everything else. Just taking these nine idiots in front of him, why would he have to fight for them? That was just nonsense. Young fellow, you're quite passionate, but every power has to look at the long view. As for what Ku Jin Ying wants to give you, it is no minor matter. How about we all take a step back? We can give you the treasure, but you must promise us that when the Martial Heaven Alliance is in danger of being destroyed, you will not stand by as a spectator, said Ku Jin Ying's grand uncle master. Hearing that, the nine elders' expressions changed. This was essentially agreeing to give the treasure to Long Chen. After all, the Martial Heaven Alliance was the largest alliance in this world. It had an incredibly profound foundation. Just what could threaten its life? Ku Jin Ying was also delighted. Her grand uncle master was clearly conceding. However, Long Chen shook his head. Then never mind. I don't want this treasure. Long Chen, you crazy madman. Do you know what that treasure is? Raged Ku Jin Ying. Long Chen, you are a warrior of the righteous path. If the Martial Heaven Alliance was in a life and death crisis, it signifies that the entire righteous path is in danger. Would you really just watch as a spectator demanded another Grand Elder? That's not the same. If I were to fight at that time, it would be because I wanted to, not because I was forced to do to taking someone else's things. There is an essential difference between them. I, Long Chen, do not want to be bound by anything, and I never make promises lightly, said Long Chen indifferently. For a moment, everyone was deathly silent. The four grand elders stared at Long Chen. In the end, Ku Jin Ying's grand uncle master said, If that's the case, we cannot give the treasure to you. This is a peerless, priceless treasure that does not just belong to the Martial Heaven Alliance but the entire righteous path. If you were to obtain but not fight for the righteous path, it would be awkward. That's fine. I'm used to having to snatch my opportunities myself. I never had any hope for this anyway. The main reason I came here was because I wanted to see just how strong the Central Xuan region's experts were, said Long Chen. As for this wine, you should. Senior, are you looking down on me? Do you think I would take back the gifts that I've given? This is my filial respect for the Alliance head and is also based on my relationship with her. As for whether you take it or not, it has nothing to do with me. Grand Uncle Master, you should accept it. Are you planning on going back into seclusion? Asked Ku Jin Ying. We'll discuss this later. Long Chen, the headquarters of the Martial Heaven Alliance is an ancient city with many wonders that you won't see anywhere else. You should take a look around. Perhaps you can gain some insights said Ku Jin Ying's grand uncle master. Long Chen naturally understood what he was saying. Then I'll go out for a stroll. Perhaps I'll gain something that I never expected. Long Chen retreated back down the path he had come from, vanishing from their sight. Once he was gone, Ku Jin Ying's grand uncle master's eyes instantly transformed, becoming bright and clear. Divine light shone from them. He no longer appeared on the verge of dying as his hair went from white to black in an instant. He became an icy-faced middle-aged man. The nine elders immediately felt like they had been stripped naked and tossed into the snow. The grand elder's gaze was cold. First elder, third elder, seventh elder, and ninth elder. You can kill yourselves said Ku Jin Ying's grand uncle master. Chapter 1769 The Grand Elder's Dignity Translator Born to be grand elder, the first elder, third elder, seventh elder and Ninth Elder instantly turned ashen. HMPH.
a pack of treacherous bastards. Do you not know what you have done? Hu Jinying's grand uncle master snorted. Light shone out of his eyes, and it was like he could see through the cosmos. The grand elder who had become young looked completely different from his previous decrepit self. He was like a completely different person, and his gaze was incredibly sharp. Grand elder, we, shouted the elders. The first, third, seventh, and ninth elders' bodies exploded into blood mist. The remaining five elders were pale with terror. They didn't know what had just happened. I'm sorry. I was powerless. Ku Jinying suddenly knelt on the ground with shame. Why would you apologize? You've already done very well. It's impossible to avoid some traitors. Now that the great era has come, it must have been hard on you with the four of us still sleeping, said Ku Jinying's grand uncle master. Furthermore, it's my fault, not yours. I never passed the spirit void eyes on to you, so how could you see their thoughts? However, I didn't expect Pill Valley to go so far. Their claws have even landed on the nine core elders of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Well, what's done is done. Since we've come out, we don't plan on going back into seclusion. We'll support you, so do what you want. Then Long Chen's matter, that person is very dangerous. When I tried to look at him with my spirit void eyes, they were almost destroyed. Fortunately, I pulled back as soon as I sensed the danger or my life would have been in danger. What? How is that possible? Ku Jinying jumped in shock. Others might not know, but she was aware of her granduncle master's spirit void eyes. They were able to see through a person's thoughts and kill them without needing to do anything else. Back when he had been the one in control of the Martial Heaven Alliance, he had struck fear into the hearts of countless experts. However, he was now saying that his eyes had almost been destroyed with just a test. If he hadn't personally said it, she wouldn't have believed it no matter what. Even now, she found it hard to believe. His past is a mass of primal chaos. His future is a mass of mist. I can't see anything. If such a person was good, it would be a blessing to all life. If they were evil, it would mean the destruction of the world. It's incredibly dangerous. The reason I tested him with words was to see if I could get him to owe a favor to the Martial Heaven Alliance. I wasn't asking him to protect the Martial Heaven Alliance. I just don't wish to see him destroy it. Long Chen wouldn't do such a thing. This child cares heavily about relationships, said Ku Jinying. You should look beyond just the surface. People like that can easily go to extremes. In a fit of anger, he could tear down the very heavens. You have shown favor to Long Chen, so he would be willing to walk through fire for you. But what if you died? He would go crazy. If the ones to cause your death were inside the Martial Heaven Alliance, could you guarantee that he wouldn't destroy the Martial Heaven Alliance? Asked Ku Jinying's grand uncle master profoundly. But, Ku Jinying didn't know how to respond to that. She had never thought of that scenario. Of the nine core elders, four had been bought by others and without anyone being the wiser. If they had caused her death, Long Chen would definitely kill the four of them as vengeance for her but the four of them would naturally deny his accusations, and they would summon the entire Martial Heaven Alliance to stop him. With Long Chen's temper and his disdain for explaining, anyone who stopped him during his vengeance would be killed. Then the Martial Heaven Alliance might really be destroyed by Long Chen's hands. Thinking of that, cold sweat covered her back. Compared to her granduncle master, she was still immature. She hadn't even thought of this scenario. Perhaps the four of them had been bought precisely in order to lay a trap for her or for the Martial Heaven Alliance. Then their backer would be able to defeat the Martial Heaven Alliance without needing to shed a single drop of their blood. It was simple. Long Chen already possesses such power at the Soul Transformation Realm. Once he advances to Life Star, he will be even more terrifying. Regretfully, he's too proud and refuses to be bound by our favor. We have nothing we can do to him said Ku Jinying's grand uncle master. Nothing can be done about it. Let's drink. Another grand elder had already started pouring the wine jug Long Chen had given them into four small cups. However, they were unwilling to gulp such precious wine down. Ku Jinying's grand uncle master bitterly smiled. Although he was also a grand elder, the other three were his seniors. Now they were actually shamelessly drinking someone else's wine. Little sixth. Even at such an age. You're so inflexible. Why be such a worry ward? 
that Long Chen is fundamentally not an existence that should exist in this world. Who could guarantee anything about his fate? Don't bother yourself with trying, and come drink. When we have time, we should go drink some more at that old wine ghost's place, said another grand elder impatiently. He actually called Ku Jianying's grand uncle master as little sixth. Your third uncle is correct. People about to die should fulfill their duty instead of being meddlesome. With the great era here, the world is about to completely change. As to whether it ends in destruction or rebirth, it's up to fate. Whether or not we gave that treasure wouldn't change things. Let's hurry up and drink some wine, said another grand elder. That's good too, Jin Ying. You can leave. As for that treasure, let us think on it first, said Ku Jin Ying grand uncle master. Yes. Disciple will take her leave. Ku Jin Ying left with the five elders who were still terrified. They finally realized that four of the people they called brothers had actually had their loyalties bought. Alliance head. We, upon returning to the Martial Heaven Palace, the five of them immediately knelt on the ground. They knew that they had made a huge mistake. They had been encouraged by others to go against her, causing them to awaken the grand elders. Although the four of them had been slain, the five of them still had responsibility for this matter. They were completely ashamed inside and were waiting for Ku Jin Ying to give them their punishment. Ku Jin Ying waved her hand. Even I was fooled. So what qualifications do I have to punish you? Go and do what you're supposed to be doing. Speaking of which, send two people to keep an eye on Long Chen. Don't let him cause a disaster. Many thanks. The five of them were incredibly grateful to Ku Jin Ying while also hating themselves for their foolishness. How could someone as noble as Ku Jin Ying really help a cheater? They were filled with shame and guilt. However, due to their shame and guilt, they ended up forgetting about Ku Jin Ying's final instruction. Due to that tiny slip up, later, a huge matter erupted. Long Chen knew that the Grand Elders wanted him to go, as some words weren't suitable for him to hear. However, he would definitely not have expected that as soon as he left, four of the core elders would be slain. Returning to the plaza, Long Chen saw that the majority of the disciples had yet to scatter. Seeing him return, they immediately surrounded him. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, since this is your first time coming to the central Xuan region, I'll be your guide, said a sweet but brazen woman. Wow, how could I refuse the company of such a beauty? Long Chen smiled Novaloon.com senior apprentice brother Long Chen. You're lying. Each of those beautiful women of yours is a peerless fairy whose beauty is unmatched. That woman laughed. Although she wasn't a beauty who could topple a nation, she was still very beautiful. Two small dimples appeared on her face whenever she smiled, which made her look very cute. Long Chen laughed. Dreams are good to have because what if you manage to pull one off? You might not be that beautiful now but I trust with your talent and willpower, you will sooner or later become a peerless beauty. Liar. Looks are innate. How could they be changed with effort? That maiden laughed, knowing that Long Chen was teasing her. In their view, Long Chen was completely different from other so-called peerless experts. Other experts would have to make it known that they were peerless experts as if they were afraid others wouldn't know. They always had to make a ruckus wherever they went, acting arrogant and coldly to others. But Long Chen hadn't put on any arrogant airs like them. He had even explained his Tao and shown his skills to them. King King, you accompany senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Everyone else, don't cause any trouble. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen likes to be Loki, so he won't like it if all of you go with him. Meng Fei also returned upon seeing Long Chen and gave orders to the disciples that were surging toward Long Chen. Those disciples were all disappointed but they obediently followed the third commander's instructions. If tens of thousands of people were to stroll around with Long Chen, that would really be exaggerated. Long Chen could only say, if it would make everyone happy, we can stroll around together. There's nothing inconvenient about it. I'm sure the third commander is even more familiar with this place, so we can go together. No, I won't be going. I don't like going out that much. King King was born here in Clearwind City and she also grew up here. She's more familiar with this place than anyone else, or she wouldn't have asked you. The third commander shook his head. He didn't like the way he looked, and he didn't like the strange looks he got when he went out. With his temper, 
he knew he might start a fight with just that. Long Chen also saw that. So he said goodbye to everyone else as he left with King King. Chapter 1770 The Land of the Wealthy Translator Born to be clear Win City was one of the central Xuan region's four largest cities and also the oldest one. There were many marks of its history that had been preserved. There was an immense history behind this place. Millions and millions of sects had been set up here. Although the majority of them had declined and faded away, some had managed to stay alive until now. In order to survive, they made this place public, allowing the disciples of the various large sects to come to the core areas to study and gain insights. The surviving sects were rare and precious. They were no more than shells of their former selves. But despite that, the techniques and cultivation techniques that they offered to others free of charge were comparable to the core secret arts kept by third-rate sects in other regions. In the Eastern Xuan region, only core disciples would be allowed to study techniques of this level in third-rate sects. But here, you could find them on any random historical remnant on the streets. It could be seen how great the power of the Central Xuan region was. So amongst the five regions, only the Central Xuan region didn't have any commoners. That was because even the regular populace cultivated here. Even if you didn't have any money or status, you could cultivate here without any trouble. Even without joining a sect, you could cultivate here easily. Those cultivators were called independent cultivators. In other regions, there weren't very many independent cultivators, and they weren't very strong. But here, there were many of them, and some of them were monstrous geniuses. Those geniuses all liked their freedom or had their own special circumstances. Perhaps they were too stubborn and couldn't get along with others. In any case, they had chosen to cultivate alone. It was more dangerous, as they could only rely on themselves to win resources for their own cultivation. In the central Xuan region, the independent cultivators were also a powerful force that could not be neglected. Their numbers were very great. They were the fresh soil that the various large sects tried to recruit in order to breathe new life into their sects. King King pulled Long Chen all over, a sweet and innocent smile on her face. Her pure eyes contained an indescribable pride. He. If I were to shout that I had brought over the first place genius on the devil slaughter rankings for a stroll here, it would definitely cause a sensation, laughed King King. Long Chen suddenly felt that he had gotten old. It seemed there were fewer and fewer things that could make him happy and excited. He still recalled how he had been excited for the better part of the day when he had obtained a single garbage battle skill in the Phoenix Cry Empire. He remembered being moved with each advancement of the Feng Fu star. But now, that happy feeling had gradually faded. That wasn't a good sign. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, why are you so different from those arrogant and overbearing heavenly geniuses? You seem so ordinary when compared to them. Look, even after walking so long, no one has recognized you, said King King. Perhaps I'm just that ordinary Long Chen smiled faintly. That's not possible. It's because you've completely pulled in your aura. However, even if you don't release your aura, just this face of yours should draw other people's attention. Long Chen's fame was extremely great. Originally, his fame was mostly limited to the Eastern Xuan region, but after getting first place on the Devil Slaughter rankings, his name had shaken the entire continent. At least half the population recognized his face. Long Chen laughed and didn't respond. Since cultivating the sixth form of Split the Heavens and opening his sixth sense, he had managed to manifest a special illusory art. It had no combat power, but it was a kind of mental suggestion that made it so that as soon as others looked at him, as long as he didn't know them, they would automatically think that they didn't recognize him. It was useless against people that he knew and lacked effect against those with great spiritual strength, but it was a good disguise in a crowd. That was why even after walking around for such a long time, they hadn't caused a ruckus. King King found it inconceivable. King King was an excellent guide. She explained all the various historical sites that they came across, and she even told him some legends about what had happened in the past regarding certain buildings. Some of these buildings were the ruins of certain sects. She was able to recite each sect's history or even if any outstanding figures had appeared in their history. Long Chen felt great admiration for her abilities. King King, you know so much about Clearwind City. Its history is so profound. 
No wonder so many heavenly geniuses flock here. This foundation makes my eastern Xuan region seem like a speck of dust. Praised Long Chen. King King smiled and was about to reply when a young man who heard them turned around and looked at Long Chen. You're from the eastern Xuan region. As soon as he opened his mouth, he used an arrogant tone. Everything about him screamed arrogance. However, while he himself was arrogant enough, his cultivation base was lacking. He was only at the late foundation forging realm. Ah, yes I came from the eastern Xuan region. Are you offering to be a bodyguard? Unfortunately, I don't have any money for you, warned Long Chen. You, are you ill? We're from the central Xuan region. Do you think our land is filled with bandits like your backwater region? Furthermore, that garbage black silk you're wearing is something even our beggars wouldn't wear. Do you think I'd ask for your money? Sneered the man. However, when he looked past Long Chen to King King, he was startled. King King was not only beautiful, but she was wearing the robes of the Martial Heaven Alliance. She was actually walking while holding his hand. King King looked noble, while Long Chen was wearing black robes. Although they looked elegant, the material they were made from was far too lacking. The difference in their status had to be immense. Long Chen saw through that person's suspicions and said, This is my younger cousin. I came from the eastern Xuan region to visit some relatives. But the first thing I wanted to do was admire the scenery of the central Xuan region. Only once I was here did I realize that the central Xuan region is truly a land of amazing heroes. Even you possess seven ancestral items. This person was truly wealthy. His sword, belt, boots, leather armor, bracer, and more were ancestral items. What made Long Chen the most speechless was that even his headband was an ancestral item. That was definitely showing off. How could a headband be used to fight? It was clearly just a display of his status. Seeing Long Chen's admiring gaze, that man smiled proudly. Long Chen's display clearly satisfied him. Little fellow, you're not bad. You have some vision. Let me ask you a few questions. If you answer properly, I'll give you a great reward. That man was acting like the boss as if any random thing he tossed out would be enough to benefit Long Chen for a lifetime. Really? That's amazing. I heard that the central Xuan region's experts are shockingly wealthy, and those with status are drowning in money. I even heard a legend in the central Xuan region that a peerless expert will just toss out 10,000 spirit crystals just for anyone who answers any random question on the street. Is that really true? Asked Long Chen excitedly. 10,000 spirit crystals? That made that fellow jump in shock. Even the central Xuan region's experts weren't so wealthy. However, seeing Long Chen's excited expression and how badass he had acted before, he thickened his skin and said, It's, it's true I suppose. Great. Then please, ask. You come from the eastern Xuan region, so you should know of someone called Long Chen. Correct? He I know him. Thank you. Long Chen hastily nodded, not waiting for that fellow to finish speaking before stretching out his hands and looking at him expectantly. The man was dumbfounded. I'm not done talking. What? Isn't it one question for 10,000 spirit crystals? You said so yourself. That the central Xuan region is the land of the wealthy. Could it be that you? Long Chen suddenly looked suspiciously at him. King King was to the side, holding back her laughter. Seeing Long Chen play with this fellow, she almost couldn't hold back. Long Chen's serious expression was too much. As for the opposing person, his face twitched a couple of times but he acted indifferently. My family has plenty of money. Do you think I'd care about 10,000 spirit crystals? I was just thinking of giving you the money after finishing all my questions. Ah, my memory isn't so good. So I think you should just give me the money after each question. That will avoid things becoming messy. When I return to the Eastern Xuan region, I will definitely tell everyone about how wealthy the Central Xuan region's people are. They're living the real life. Long Chen gave him a thumbs up. The man really tossed over 10,000 spirit crystals. King King became dumbfounded. 10,000 spirit crystals. That was one year's income for an expert on the level of the four commanders. As for her, she would need eight years to earn that much. Long Chen had actually earned 10,000 spirit crystals just like that? Had the world gone mad? Long Chen immediately began to say his thanks. That expression of his was fully satisfying the other man's vanity. 
At the same time, more passers-by were drawn over, curious as to what was happening, making him even more pleased. He continued, he has a few captains beneath him, do you four of them, thank you. Long Chen once more reached out his hands, that person's expression changed again, but in front of everyone's dumbfounded gazes, he once more handed Long Chen 10,000 spirit crystals. This time, he learned his lesson and started off with, let me finish speaking, don't interrupt me, all right, since you know Long Chen, pass a few words to him and his captains, I, Xiao Qing, look down on them, if they came to the central Xuan region, I would break their dog legs, wait, can you repeat the first part, asked Long Chen, I, Xiao Qing, look down on them, no, before that, I said that since you know Long Chen, ah, I don't know Long Chen, thank you, I'll go now, Long Chen pulled King King away, chapter 1771 venerate platform translator, born to be Long Chen had just started pulling King King away when that person angrily blocked his path, you clearly said that you knew Long Chen just now, wait a moment, my memory's not so good, when did I say I know Long Chen, let's think back to what we said before, said Long Chen innocently, what's wrong with your head, the first thing I asked you was if you knew Long Chen, and you said you did, oh, that, I said that I knew of him, I mean, how many people here don't know of Long Chen, however, knowing of him doesn't mean that I know him, said Long Chen, you, that person almost coughed up blood, hey, are you going back on our deal, were the legends false, after getting money for answering questions, you actually have to give the money back, fine, since you can't bear to part with this little money, I'll give it back to you, although I'm poor, I still have some pride, unlike, well, I won't say it, here, take it, Long Chen held out a spatial ring, that person's face alternated between white and green, he then looked at that spatial ring and furiously said, the men of the central Xuan region are all noble, we never demand others to give back what we have given them, go and spend it, treat it as my charity to a beggar from another region, that man snorted and left, others shook their heads as they also scattered, he, your central Xuan region's people really have money, come, let me treat you to a meal, Long Chen laughed and pulled King King into an ancient restaurant, once they were inside the restaurant, Long Chen was very generous, ordering a little bit of everything. He directly spent 20,000 spirit stones just on food. In the end, a giant table had a small mountain of food piled on top of it, each dish being incomparably expensive. Some meats were even from 12th rank magical beasts, while some stir fries included famous precious medicines. The smell alone was enough to make one salivate. As soon as the food came, Long Chen started taking big bites, chomping down on some 12th rank golden ox muscle. It was unknown what cooking method they had used to make it practically melt in his mouth. The essence within it was fully retained, making it both delicious and nourishing. It was no wonder it was so expensive. Kinking, eat while it's hot. Only after several large bites did Long Chen notice that Kinking was staring blankly at the mountain of food in front of her. It seemed she had forgotten how to use her chopsticks. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, can we really eat so luxuriously? I'm not used to this. The money was given by someone else as a treat. It's not like we're spending our own money. So don't be uneasy. Hurry and eat. To tell the truth, even if we didn't run into that unlucky fool, I'd have treated you anyway because I'm impressed by your knowledge. I've got plenty of money since people are always sending money my way. I can't even stop them wow, you're so good at forming relationships with other people, there are that many people sending you money, exclaimed King King, Long Chen was speechless, it seemed this child was too innocent to understand what he meant, the people sending him money weren't doing it because of their friendship with him, after a bit of talking and joking with Long Chen, King King finally began to use her chopsticks, her eyes were shining, as these delicacies were not things that she could usually enjoy, there's a reason why this food is so expensive, eat it, here, this is good stuff, you can eat it, Long Chen pushed a plate to King King, this plate had a dozen translucent objects, they appeared crystalline but immediately melted in a person's mouth, King King tried it and was unable to tell what it was, senior apprentice brother Long Chen, 
What is this? It's delicious and contains so much essence. King King was amazed by this dish, but she quickly found that Long Chen's expression was a bit odd. What King King didn't know was that what she had just eaten was a very hearty bull. Whip. It was the life rod of the 12th rank magical beast known as the Golden Heavenly Unicorn Bull. Naturally, it was full of essence. However, it wasn't as if Long Chen could just tell her the truth. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen. What is it? Is this thing very strange? Asked King King innocently. Ah, about that. There's nothing strange about it. It's an organ that animals have. Said Long Chen vaguely. An organ that animals have? Then do humans have it? Probed King King. Ah, well, how do I put this? Some people have it. Some people don't. Long Chen wanted to do a face bomb. This was difficult to explain, especially to a naive and innocent girl. How curious. Then do I have it? Right now you don't have it, but you might have one in the future. Long Chen continued to be vague. Shameless just at this moment, a woman in violet robes at a table not that far from them snorted and stood up, glaring at Long Chen. She turned to leave. However, she suddenly double backed when she saw his face. It's you. The woman stared at Long Chen with shock, clearly having recognized him. Long Chen's illusory art was useless against her. Long Chen was also startled. This woman's control over her heavenly Tao energy was extremely great, and she had managed to suppress her fluctuations to a minimum. If he hadn't seen her eyes, he really might have been tricked. She was actually a powerful Empyrean. Her eyes had golden runes flowing within them. HMPH. I never thought that the famous Long Chen was nothing more than a rogue. It seems those rumors aren't unsubstantiated. Your ranking is completely meaningless the woman snorted and left. Long Chen was still flabbergasted. Just who was this woman? He didn't know her. So how did he get cursed by her as soon as she saw him? She must have realized what Long Chen was saying. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. That woman is very amazing. Her name is Yi Lingxian. She is an independent cultivator, but due to obtaining the inheritance of an ancient sect, she instantly became a peerless heavenly genius. Rumor is that her potential is terrifying, and all the large powers are trying to pull her into their sects. Even the Alliance had once invited her, saying that she wanted her as her personal apprentice. However, Yi Lingxian is still hesitating over her decision, said King King. The Alliance head wants her as her apprentice? Their characters are quite similar. They're definitely fiery enough. Long Chen nodded. He, senior apprentice brother Long Chen, aren't you afraid of me selling you out to the Alliance head? I'm not afraid. After eating my food, I trust you wouldn't do such a thing. The two of them quickly finished eating. There was a great deal left over, but King King took it for her sisters. Long Chen said he could get a whole table for her to bring back. But King King refused obstinately. The two of them left the restaurant and took a short transportation formation to the top of a mountain. In front of the mountain was a cliff with a set of stairs on it. There were nine steps. What startled Long Chen was that he felt a powerful mental pressure coming from these stairs. It was his first time sensing such powerful spiritual strength. It was like a raging tsunami. Senior Apprentice Brother, this is the Venerate Platform. A stone staircase that comes all the way from the Dark Era. In the Ancient Era, this was a trial to test a person's potential. As long as a person could reach the ninth step, it would signify that they have a high chance of becoming a Venerate in the future. Do you want to try it? Anyone is allowed to try it, and there's no fee, said King King. She stared at him expectantly, wanting to see him try it. Long Chen looked at the distant nine steps. Quite a few experts were currently attempting to climb it. Although it was just nine steps, each step was 300 meters tall. When the disciples climbed onto them, they seemed to be restricted by some law and were unable to fly. They were forced to climb up. These people had only reached the third step before they began coughing up blood. They fell from the steps, crashing onto the ground and clenching their heads in pain. Long Chen shook his head. This staircase has a mental formation on it that strips you of your spiritual yuan. It is a kind of mental torment to climb it. Not only will illusions assault you, but your heart devils will be reborn. Without strong enough willpower, anyone coming here would just be torturing themselves. They would be rattling their own Dao heart. 
Long Chen's mental power was strong, and he was able to sense the power of this staircase. His estimate was that it was a test for experts in the ancient era. It most likely was not used as a trial because the mental damage it caused was serious. It could even harm the soul. It should have a formation that also healed a person's soul and firmed a person's Tao heart. Otherwise, it would just be a con. However, after so much time, this staircase had become a masterless object, and there was no one protecting it. Since most of its power had to have faded, there was no value even if you reached the ninth step. Reaching the ninth step meant that you could become a venerate? That was just a way to comfort oneself. Long Chen wouldn't do something so foolish. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you're so amazing. You instantly saw through the venerate platform's details. King King was surprised. Based on your expression, it seems you've climbed it before yes. But after the fifth step, I couldn't go on. I fell and almost became a pancake. King King stuck out her tongue in embarrassment. With your peaceful nature, you were still able to reach the fifth step. That's not bad. However, don't believe the superstitions about the venerate platform. Due to the flow of time, many of its runes have been badly damaged, and it is no longer comparable to its original state. Many people have also been led astray by that legend. The reason it's here free of charge for everyone to use is because it's just a toy used to harm yourself. Otherwise, others would have occupied it already, said Long Chen. The current venerate platform merely caused damage to a person's mind. It was only suitable for those with great willpower to temper themselves. Others would just be harming themselves. That was why only a few experts were climbing it right now despite the vast number of geniuses in Clearwind City. He would guess that a portion of these people were those who had come from the other four regions, attracted to its name. Oh? Yi Lingxian has come. Is she going to challenge the venerate platform? King King let out a startled cry. Long Chen saw Yi Lingxian appear in front of the venerate platform. Chapter 1772 Yi Lingxian Translator Born to be the violet-robed Yi Lingxian was walking gracefully and elegantly. As soon as she appeared, she caused a ruckus. Yi Lingxian has come. Is she challenging the venerate platform? With her power. There should be no need for her to do so. Independent cultivators would only come here if they didn't have any way to temper their souls or willpower. Perhaps there's some other reason why she came. Perhaps, Yi Lingxian stepped onto the first step. The venerate platform buzzed, and a vast spiritual pressure crashed down on her. Quite a few other disciples in the midst of climbing it were startled and rolled off. This venerate platform would unleash greater power depending on the strength of the person being tested. A few of them were caught up in Yi Lingxian's test. Amazing. She's reached the fifth step without changing expression exclaimed King King. For her, just reaching the fourth step had been difficult. The only reason she had managed to persevere to the fifth step was because of sheer willpower. As for the fifth step, upon reaching there, her soul received a powerful impact and it took over a month to recover from it. However, that accomplishment still filled her with pride. The majority of experts were unable to get to the fifth step. However, it seemed Yi Lingxian was still finding it easy. In truth, with your power, reaching the sixth step should be no problem. It's just that you don't know the technique, said Long Chen. The technique, yes. This venerate platform's energy flows from top to bottom. The higher you climb, the greater the pressure. Before this, I saw everyone was climbing in a way that would take more energy and be more difficult. They were like fish trying to swim against the current. The more they resisted, the greater the pressure. Rather than that, allow a portion of the venerate platform's energy to enter your spiritual world. It will invade you, but its power will be limited. On the other hand, if you go all out resisting it, it will be like you're trying to move forward in a storm. The larger your umbrella, the greater the resistance. But those who aren't afraid of getting wet will be able to go further. Do you understand? King King came to a sudden realization. No wonder Yi Lingxian's spiritual fluctuations aren't very intense yet. She's not using her full power to resist. At this moment, Yi Lingxian had reached the seventh step. At this moment, the venerate platform began to shake, and the air around it started to twist. Everything became illusory. People felt faint. It was like the world had been flipped. 
They no longer knew which direction was which. How terrifying. We're so far, but we're still affected. Then isn't Yi Lingxin under even more terrifying pressure? Startled cries rang out. Yi Lingxin was slightly pale. Now it was starting to get hard for her. Only the first and second commanders have managed to reach the seventh step on our side, whispered King King. On the seventh step, the energy has started to change. It's no longer purely flowing from the top but attacking from all angles. There's no trick by this point. You can only charge through with your power. Long Chen nodded. The eighth step. Startled cries rang out just as they were talking. Although Yi Lingxin had slowed down, she still managed to reach the eighth step. When she reached the eighth step, booming echoed through the air. Black clouds gathered above the venerate platform, and the might of the heavenly deos crashed down, shaking people's souls. Some people were no longer able to stand. They collapsed. This was heavenly might targeted toward the soul. People couldn't resist. King King's body was quivering. This kind of heavenly might scared her soul. She unconsciously got closer to Long Chen. When she got closer to Long Chen, she was startled to find that this heavenly might seemed to have vanished. When she looked at him, she saw that Long Chen was looking at the black clouds with a mocking smile. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, are you not afraid of the heavenly might? King King couldn't believe her eyes. Heavenly might? No, this isn't heavenly might. It is just an imitation. It's only used to frighten others and make them feel like climbing the ninth step would make them face the wrath of the heavens. It makes them feel like they will die to the heavenly deos. But it's just a trick. Long Chen shook his head. Let alone fake heavenly might. He had experienced true heavenly might many times. He wasn't afraid of it. With his years of going against the heavens. He was able to distinctly tell that this one was fake. However. Others didn't have that ability. To Yi Lingxin. Climbing to the ninth step would mean enduring that heavenly might. Which would mean going against the heavenly deos. Not everyone was like the Dragonblood Legion who had started going against the Heavenly Deos early in their cultivation. This was a very difficult trial. Yi Lingxin suddenly clenched her teeth and directly climbed onto the ninth step. This step was a cliff in its own right, and Yi Lingxin needed to climb over it. She had just started climbing when the black cloud seemed to boil over. Lightning flashed within them. It's a good fake. Long Chen nodded. This venerate platform was truly amazing to be able to imitate the heavenly might so well. Yi Lingxin had just gotten a few dozen meters up when her whole body shuddered. Her face was pale as paper, and there was a touch of fear in her eyes. However, she clenched her teeth and continued climbing. As she climbed, the pressure of the heavens grew stronger. Beasts began to appear in the black clouds. They roared and charged at Yi Lingxin. Ah, King King let out a startled cry. Those beasts were incredibly terrifying. Don't worry, they're fake. They won't kill Yi Lingxin, but they will affect her mind. If her mind is occupied by fear, these formless magical beasts will cause damage to her soul. Whether or not she can endure is up to her will, comforted Long Chen. As expected, the first beast slammed into Yi Lingxin and didn't cause any damage. There was no injury. However, her whole body trembled. That attack had clearly influenced her. More and more of those beasts came charging toward Yi Lingxin. They were incredibly lifelike. Ah, quite a few people were letting out startled cries. Yi Lingxin's body shuddered so intensely that she dropped over a hundred meters, almost falling completely. It's over. After such a setback, there's basically no hope. One person sighed regretfully. This venerate platform only got harder. If your momentum was suddenly broken, that would be a huge blow and there would basically be no hope of climbing to the peak. The person speaking was someone deeply familiar with the torment of the venerate platform. His words were spoken from immense experience. However, Yi Lingxin didn't give up. She continued climbing, but people were stunned to see her current appearance. Her mouth was bleeding and her face was pale. The light in her eyes had faded. What's going on? Has she already lost consciousness? asked King King. Her soul has started to become chaotic after those attacks. She has forcibly split her soul, using one portion to resist and another portion to firm her confidence. Although Long Chen didn't quite approve of this move of hers, he had no choice but to admit that her willpower was impressive. Having decided on her goal, she refused to give up. 
that perseverance was admirable. However, the Venerate platform wasn't going to let her pass just because of her willpower. The pressure grew greater, and once Yi Lingxin was just a few meters away from the top, she fell again. People were shaken by Yi Lingxin's determination. She refused to give up. They realized that the reason they couldn't become peerless experts was because they lacked that determination. After falling seven times, Yi Lingxin finally managed to climb over the peak. The instant she reached the peak, the black clouds in the sky faded, and the world returned to calm. The Venerate platform's runes lit up, but then they quickly faded. As expected, it's a crippled platform. If the Venerate platform was still in perfect condition, it should have a soul-nourishing effect now. This is the golden time to make up for the damage done to the soul by climbing it. By making up for it, Yi Lingxin's soul would rise to a new level, thought Long Chen to himself. Yi Lingxin was still pale and hastily gulped down a medicinal pill. The light in her eyes gradually returned. Countless experts jeered. The majority of them were independent cultivators. While Yi Lingxin was their representative, they felt great pride in her and themselves. Even without relying on a sect, an independent cultivator could still become a peak heavenly genius. Yi Lingxin was able to complete the Venerate platform. In other words, she has the qualifications to become a Venerate in the future. Now countless sects will really be fighting over her. Who said that independent cultivators are weak? Who would dare to look down on us? The independent cultivators were especially excited. They were often looked down upon by disciples of some sects. Now Yi Lingxin had proven that independent cultivators also had limitless prospects. Yi Lingxin flew down. She actually walked over to Long Chen and said, Hegemon of the Devil Slaughter Rankings. Do you want to go try it and open my eyes to the world? When Yi Lingxin said that, those independent cultivators looked more closely at Long Chen. Startled cries rang out. Chapter 1773 Something terrible has happened translator. Born to be Long Chen. It really is Long Chen. How were we blind before he is standing right there amongst us? And no one noticed Yi Lingxin's words immediately caused the experts present to erupt into shouting. They hadn't even noticed Long Chen's existence. This resulted in Long Chen's illusory art being completely useless. All the experts stared at him in shock. Right now, Long Chen was the man of the moment in the martial heaven continent. Although he was racked with controversy, his fame was so great that his name was deeply imprinted in everyone's minds. With his identity revealed by Yi Lingxin, Long Chen directly dispelled his illusory art. He shrugged, shaking his head. I'm not the slightest bit interested in this toy. It's already broken. So why bother? Unless your brain is broken. You. Why would you curse me? Yi Lingxin frowned angrily. Long Chen hastily flapped his hand. No. That's not what I meant. That venerate platform is truly broken. With most of its abilities already lost. In truth. You. Ah. I shouldn't say it. Saying half and then stopping while people are confused isn't a good manner said Yi Lingxin coldly. If I told you, it would make you feel worse. We're not friends, so I'm worried that you'll beat me once I tell you. I don't feel like it. Long Chen shook his head. HMPH. So the grand first place of the Devil Slaughter rankings is a coward. Are the rumors really true? Is your first place ranking false? Yi Lingxin looked up and down at Long Chen suspiciously. So, she wanted to play the provocation game with him. That was too immature. Long Chen was speechless. Nonsense. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen Kingking on the other hand stood up to defend Long Chen. She was about to explain what Long Chen had done in the headquarters. Kingking, you foolish girl. You fell for such a simple provocation. Don't embarrass yourself. Long Chen smiled and pulled on Kingking. Turning to Yi Lingxin, he said, to compete with a broken platform, even if your head isn't broken. It definitely isn't normal. Since you want to know, I'll tell you. This venerate platform is already useless. In the ancient era, there should have been a reward to those who managed to climb to the top. Did you see those nine runes on the final step? They are called heaven descending spirit runes. They gather heavenly Tao energy that would bless the person who succeeded. However, they merely flickered and didn't give you any reward when you got to the top because they are already broken. That reward is the true crux of becoming a venerate. 
So let me put it this way. Even if you do one day become a venerate, it would have nothing to do with this broken down platform. If it had been someone else saying this, others might not have believed them. However, since these words were coming from Long Chen, their confidence was shaken. In truth, some people had said that this platform was essentially useless and couldn't be used to prove anything, but people refused to believe it. Long Chen then continued, However, I wouldn't say that this platform is completely useless. At the very least, it can temper a person's will. It's just that this tempering no longer has any corresponding nourishing effect, making the tempering a torture. Many of the people already have signs of faint damage to their souls. Although your will grows stronger, the damage to your soul is worse. You should be careful. After saying that, Long Chen tossed a medicinal pill at Yi Lingxin. Yi Lingxin reached out and caught it. This is, when she saw it, she was stunned. Light was flowing brightly around the pill like it was covered by a screen of light. Within that screen of light were nine little fish slowly swimming. Those fish were actually runes emitting intense life fluctuations. Light flowed out of the pill, forming a halo that spread for thousands of meters. All the experts bathed in that light felt their minds clear, and it was like their souls had been cleansed by a mysterious energy. No one was capable of recognizing this pill or even judging its tear. However, they all knew it was incomparably precious. This is a rather high-grade soul-nourishing pill that can heal your damaged soul. Right now is the best time for you to heal the damage. If you eat it quickly, it can not just heal your soul, but it can also increase your spiritual strength by 30%, said Long Chen. 30%. The experts jumped in shock. What kind of concept was a 30% increase in spiritual strength? It was insane. If you had been bestowed the reward from the Venerate platform, it would have increased your spiritual strength by at least 50%. However, a medicinal pill is still just a medicinal pill and cannot compare to runes that have been accumulating energy for an unknown amount of time. 30% is already the limit, said Long Chen lightly. She didn't know if Long Chen was telling the truth or not, but Yi Lingxin clearly felt her spiritual injury healing just by holding the pill. Even without consuming it, the effect was greater than the pill that she had consumed before. Then, many thanks. Yi Lingxin reddened slightly. She couldn't refuse this pill, but considering that she wasn't a friend of Long Chen's and her previous provocation toward him, she was naturally very embarrassed. This was something that would affect the rest of her life, so she couldn't refuse. She swallowed it, and the pill instantly dissolved, entering her throat like pure water. 90% of its energy surged toward her spiritual sea. Yi Lingxin's manifestation appeared out of her control. Vast heavenly Tao energy flowed around her, and a spiritual pressure that grew greater and greater appeared. Finally, the spiritual strength and manifestation faded. Yi Lingxin's face was no longer pale, and there was a bright light shining in her eyes. It felt like the air around her had changed. Many thanks, said Yi Lingxin to Long Chen. No need. In the future, we'll be friends. As for what happened before, we don't need to talk about it, laughed Long Chen. Long Chen was trying to keep Yi Lingxin quiet about what had happened before in the restaurant. As an independent cultivator, Yi Lingxin had experienced much more than the innocent King King. His teasing toward King King had just been some random words, but if King King knew their meaning, he would definitely have no face left to see her. Yi Lingxin glared at Long Chen clearly finding this condition difficult to accept. But she didn't say anything more. All right, you can continue playing. King King, didn't you say that Clear Wind City has a divine king shrine? Let's go take a look. Long Chen pulled King King away. Mr. Long Chen, can I ask a question? Should we continue training here? Asked a bold independent cultivator. Long Chen looked back. You can train here but you should prepare a large quantity of soul-nourishing pills. In truth, this venerate platform has little value, but it would be a pity to throw it away. In any case, you don't need to care too much about it. In the current cultivation world, there's no way to restore it. Why do you think others would just leave this treasure here for anyone to use? He and King King walked away. Yi Lingxin looked at Long Chen's back, not knowing what to say. Ah, that's right. I almost forgot about this. You are Yi Lingxin, correct? 
I just want to say that based on my years of experience, you and Senior Kujining are particularly well suited for each other. If you were to take her as a master, it would definitely be your best decision, said Long Chen suddenly. Yi Lingxin was truly powerful. Her strongest aspect wasn't her cultivation base or her talent, but her practically fanatical drive. Such a person would have limitless prospects as long as they didn't die. Although his dragon blood legion wasn't accepting people, he could help out Kujin Ying like this. After all, what if he succeeded in pulling her in? Thank you. I will consider it. Yi Lingxin nodded. Long Chen nodded back and left. King King whispered. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, can you be my big brother in the future? Aren't Senior Apprentice Brother and Big Brother the same thing? No, I want you to be like my big bro who protects me if anyone bullies me. Just like the first and second commanders. If anyone dares to bully the second commander, the first commander will go all out to protect her. You already said that I was too foolish to go outside. But if I was the little sister of first place on the Devil Slaughter rankings, who would dare to bully me? What do you think? Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen. King King looked at Long Chen expectantly. What kind of logic was that? Long Chen thought to himself that if she were to become his little sister, it would be a calamity to her. He couldn't do it, but he didn't know how to refuse. Suddenly, they heard shouting in the distance. Quick, something terrible has happened. Di Ruiyan and Lu Qingxin are having a death match in Clearwind Valley. Hurry, Long Chen was about to ask who Di Ruiyan and Lu Qingxin were, but he suddenly saw that King King's expression had completely changed. What is it? It's bad. We should hurry over too. Lu Qingxin is our first commander. King King was panicking. She immediately pulled Long Chen over to a transportation formation packed with people. Fortunately, people recognized him and made way for him. I'm coming too. Perhaps I can help. Yi Lingxin also appeared. The transportation formation lit up, and they appeared in another transportation formation. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Quick, it's that direction King King pointed. Let's go. Long Chen wrapped an arm around King King and shot off like a bolt of lightning. Chapter 1774 The First Commander's Trust Translator. Born to be Long Chen pushed his speed to his peak. From King King's panicked expression, he had a bad feeling. Lu Qingxin is our first commander, while Di Ruiyan is Di Xin's younger cousin and one of his confidants. He's one of Di Xin's powerful generals, and his power isn't inferior to Di Xin's. Di Xin himself has previously caused quite a few conflicts for the disciples of our Martial Heaven Alliance, but the first commander has always been calm and steady. He isn't easily provoked. For him to have a death match against Di Ruiyan. I, I'm worried King King had thought of a terrible possibility. Long Chen quickly arrived at a giant valley. There were countless experts gathered at the border here. Within the valley, explosions of light could be seen. The world was rumbling as heavenly Tao energy clashed against itself. Huge ripples spread, crashing against the walls of the valley. There were two figures fighting in midair. Both of them were fighting all out and killing intent surged out of them. Long Chen's vision was sharp, and he managed to see through the constant ripples to see a man in embroidered robes who looked somewhat similar to Di Xin. His manifestation was at full force, and there was a vague image within it. He was an expert whose manifestation had reached an initial point of awakening. Facing him was a square-faced man whose expression was frighteningly dark. It looked like flames were about to burst out of his eyes and his killing intent was soaring. Long Chen recognized him as Lu Qingxin, the first commander, because he was wearing the robes of the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples. Lu Qingxin's manifestation was also at full force, and he seemed almost insane. He was fighting in a completely suicidal manner, trying to bring down his opponent. That man in embroidered robes was most definitely Di Ruiyan, and there was a faint mocking smile on his face. He wielded a battle axe which he slammed down. Lu Qingxin was insane, and instead of dodging or blocking, he stabbed his spear forward. As a result, an explosion erupted, and Lu Qingxin was knocked out of the air, smashing into the ground and coughing up blood. Bastard, return my sister's life. Lu Qingxin let out a bestial roar. His voice was hoarse, filled with grief and anger. He once more shot after Di Ruiyan. Long Chen was startled. 
He looked around and rushed toward a large group of disciples wearing robes of the Martial Heaven Alliance. They were surrounding a woman. All of them had tears in their eyes and were glaring at Ru Ian with killing intent. Second Commander, King King ran over and let out a mournful cry. This woman looked young. She had no visible injuries, but her aura had already vanished. Long Chen pressed a finger against her forehead, but his heart turned cold. Her Yuan spirit had fully vanished. What's going on? Why would she kill herself? Demanded Long Chen. The second commander refused to be humiliated. So, so she was forced to suicide. Answered one of the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples between sobs. Who did it? Demanded King King angrily as she wiped away her tears. It was that bastard Di Ruian. They came prepared. Di Xin and Xiang Yunfei are both in the distance. One of the disciples pointed toward a distant mountain. Long Chen looked in that direction and quickly saw two pairs of eyes glaring at him. One was Di Xin who he hadn't seen in a long time, while the other was the one whose clone he had killed. Xiang Yunfei. Di Xin had an excited and malicious expression. He was pointing in Long Chen's direction and whispering to Xiang Yunfei. Xiang Yunfei smiled, killing intent surging out of him. Boom. The first commander Liu Qingxin was sent flying once more and crashed into the ground. He landed in front of Long Chen and the others, wildly hacking up blood. First commander, those disciples immediately went over to support him. The first commander's eyes were scarlet as if he was crazy. He was about to shake them off when he suddenly saw Long Chen. Shockingly, the first commander knelt in front of Long Chen and slammed his forehead into the ground in a kowtow. Brother Lu, what are you doing? Long Chen reached out to help him up, but Lu Qingxin shook his head. He actually slammed his own hand toward his head, and Long Chen hastily grabbed his arm to stop him. Why bother? demanded Long Chen. Brother Long, you are the hero I respect the most. I entrust things here to you. I grew up with my little sister, and we've depended on each other for over 20 years to live. I can't let her go on a new journey by herself. Please brother Long. Liu Qingxin looked at Long Chen. Startled cries rang out as Long Chen slowly released Liu Qingxin's hand. Many thanks. Liu Qingxin slammed his own head, making it explode. His Yuan spirit floated out and slowly dissipated. When Liu Qingxin's Yuan spirit faded, a scene appeared in Long Chen's eyes. The second commander was provoked by Di Ruian, and they made an agreement to exchange ten blows. As a result, Di Ruian treated her lightly and crushed her. Despite the second commander's crazy counterattacks, the more ferocious she became, the worse her situation. She was completely humiliated and directly took her life. The first commander had been rushing over, but he had been too slow. He had personally seen his little sister commit suicide and had immediately gone crazy, wanting to kill Di Ruian in vengeance. Regretfully, in his rage, the first commander's fighting style was thrown into chaos, and he was unable to defeat Di Ruian. Seeing that he was powerless to avenge his little sister, he chose to try and kill Di Ruian in a suicidal self-detonation, but Di Ruian saw through his intention and didn't give him any chance to get close. When he saw Long Chen, he immediately abandoned his vengeance and chose to go with his little sister. The moment he died, Long Chen felt his love for his little sister. This love could be considered a conviction in its own right. In his life, he lived to protect his little sister. Without his little sister, he had lost his reason to live. Stopping him would only make him feel worse. So Long Chen let him go. First Commander. Second Commander. King King and the other disciples were all crying tears of grief. At this time, Yi Lingxin also came, seeing the first commander and the second commander's corpses, and then the dark-faced Long Chen. She said, Long Chen, this is probably a trap. It doesn't matter if it's a trap. This matter started because of me. I will give the two of them an explanation. Long Chen looked at the distant Di Ruian. Long Chen's furious expression actually vanished and his gaze became calm. Ha ha ha, is this the Long Chen that cheated his way onto the Devil Slaughter rankings? Everyone, look, this leopard from the Eastern Xuan region has come to the Central Xuan region. What? Do you not like the way I look? Why don't you learn from them and just kill yourself? Laughed Di Ruian. Hearing that, the distant experts focused their gazes on Long Chen. He is Long Chen, 
He looks very ordinary. I don't feel like he's an expert at all. Seems like the rumors aren't unfounded. He looks like someone who would cheat. He, there'll be a good show to watch. In truth, this entire conflict started because of Long Chen. His conflict with the ancient family alliance erupted after the Devil Slaughter rankings. We'll quickly learn whether or not he deserves his fame. Countless voices began to discuss Long Chen. Experts were gathering from every direction as this huge commotion drew them over. Yi Lingxin, help me out, said Long Chen. With what help me look after them, I should be very quick. Thanks. Long Chen vanished. Long Chen reappeared in the air. He was so fast that the experts watching were stunned. Haha, <laughs> I knew that you wouldn't be able to control yourself. Taste my axe. Di Ruian laughed. His axe had long since been prepared, and he swung it down. Shockingly, that destructive axe stopped in midair because a single hand was holding its head. It was unable to move. Di Ruian was famed for his power, or there was no way he would have been able to prevent the first commander from even approaching him. However, his attack, which he had fully stored up energy for, had been easily caught by Long Chen, stunning everyone. You are not fit to fight against me. Boom. A scale-covered fist smashed into the huge axe head, and it exploded. Di Ruian's divine item exploded into bits, along with its master. The powerful explosion shook the world. What? He destroyed a divine item with his bare hands. People's eyes almost popped out of their sockets. This scene was something that they had never dreamed of. To block a divine item was rare but possible. However, a soul transformation expert destroying a divine item with his bare hands didn't exist even in legends. The power of the divine item's explosion was immense. These people had never seen such power before. A-H-H suddenly, a mournful screech rang out. A cluster of golden flames appeared in the air, and the sound came from within those flames. When the world recovered from the explosion of the divine item, they saw Long Chen clutching a translucent figure. It was Di Ruian's Yuan spirit. Long Chen was currently burning him with the heaven incinerating flame. If I wasn't so busy today, I'd roast you for three days and nights. Count yourself lucky. Bang. Long Chen's hand tightened, and Di Ruian's Yuan spirit exploded. His screech faded. Di Xin, you idiot. If I don't kill you today, I won't be Long Chen. Long Chen turned to the distant Di Xin and shot toward him. Chapter 1775 Appearing Unstoppable Translator Born to be Long Chen took three steps in midair, and his figure appeared in three different spots. It was like three of him were attacking at the same time making it impossible to tell where his true attack was coming from. Long Chen, who do you think you are to challenge me? Let's see just how you die today. Di Xin sneered as if he no longer viewed Long Chen as his match. The world rumbled, and 108 sharp bones appeared in the air like celestial battle spears. Power ripples spread in every direction as they sealed the space between them. He brought out the heavenly bone spears instantly. Xiang Yunfei must think that Long Chen is a formidable opponent startled cries rang out. Long Chen killed Xiang Yunfei's clone. So Xiang Yunfei fully hates him. As he doesn't want anyone else to save Long Chen, he wants to eliminate him before disturbing the higher-ups of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Clearly, the previous conflict had occurred quickly. So quickly that no one had been able to react before the Lu siblings had consecutively taken their own lives. Xiang Yunfei and Di Xin were Long Chen's mortal enemies, and they had actually gathered in this kind of situation. That was very coincidental. Is this a planned trap? If it is, that's crazy. Who could possibly plan something so meticulously so that things occurred in this sequence? I heard Long Chen has an enmity with Heavenly Fate Island. This final person clamped his mouth shut after saying that. Heavenly Fate Island was an existence no one wished to provoke. Within the crowd, Yi Lingxian's heart pounded wildly. She immediately recalled Long Chen's words. It doesn't matter if it's a trap. This matter started because of me. So I will give the two of them an explanation clearly. Long Chen had seen that this was a trap from the start. Despite that, he had still jumped right into it. Long Chen, last time you killed my clone. This time, I'll give you a miserable death. Xiang Yunfei's manifestation erupted and the image of a mammoth appeared in it. Divine runes appeared around him. 
supporting the 108 heavenly bone spears. They formed a giant wall in front of Long Chen. Last time I could kill your clone, and this time I'll kill your true body. However, before that, I need to eliminate some minor trash. I will accomplish my promise. Anyone who doesn't want to die should scram. Long Chen's divine ring appeared. It's five colors propping up the heavens. When green scales covered his entire body, he slashed Evil Moon down. Boom Novaloon.com A pitch black saber image tore down the bone spear wall like a sinister fang. What the orderly wall of 108 bone spears was pierced through, and the struck bone spears were sent flying. Long Chen charged through the opening in the wall. Ignoring Xiang Yunfei, he went straight toward the surprise Di Xin. Arrogance Xiang Yunfei was enraged that Long Chen dared to ignore him. As a result, he suddenly extended a hand and caught one of the bone spears. His figure flashed, and he appeared in front of Long Chen, stabbing the bone spear at him. Heavenly lightning devours all life. Lightning exploded out of Long Chen's body. A huge pair of lightning wings appeared on his back, tearing through the void. Divine might descended. Long Chen actually transformed into a giant lightning figure holding a celestial lightning blade. It slashed down with an awe-inspiring rumbling, looking completely unstoppable. Boom. Long Chen's lightning giant struck Xiang Yunfei's bone spear and exploded. Blinding light stabbed into people's eyes. Surprisingly, Long Chen's seemingly grand and powerful attack was easily shattered by Xiang Yunfei's spear. Bastard, you're courting death. Xiang Yunfei was first stunned, but he suddenly let out a furious roar. Turning, he saw Long Chen charging toward Di Xin. Just now, Long Chen had just unleashed the lightning as a decoy to dupe Xiang Yunfei. His target was still Di Xin. Long Chen had already appeared beside Di Xin. Di Xin's previous disdain had been replaced by shock and terror. A water thorn appeared in his hand. This was a new divine item to replace the one that Long Chen had broken. It went without saying that the Di family truly had money. Based on the fluctuations, it was even stronger than the one that Long Chen had broken. Boom. However, before Di Xin could even unleash a magical art with it, just as Water Chi appeared in the air, Long Chen's palm slammed into the water thorn and shattered it. Di Xin was scared witless. The only thing in his eyes was Long Chen's icy gaze. It was like a death god was staring at him. He couldn't move. Long Chen grabbed Di Xin's throat. At the same time, he swung Evil Moon to the side. Split the heavens six. Boom. The void was torn apart. As for Long Chen, he transformed into a bolt of lightning. Taking seven steps that took him hundreds of miles away, he managed to avoid Xiang Yunfei's blockade with a movement art that others found unfathomable. As for the spot that Long Chen had just attacked, the void exploded there and a large figure appeared. Di Long. Startled cries rang out. The one who just appeared was Di Long, the leader of the ancient family alliance. Di Long's expression was ashen. He hadn't even received news that this would be happening today. He had only received a transmission that said Long Chen had appeared. As a result, he had immediately felt a sense of unease and rushed over. However, he had still been one step too late. His hasty interference had been unable to stop Di Xin from falling into Long Chen's hands. Having failed with his first attack, Di Xin summoned his life and death domain. The world changed color as it froze. With his son captured by Long Chen, Di Long didn't care about face. He directly summoned his domain to suppress Long Chen. Long Chen was surprised to find that he suddenly couldn't move. As he had been able to move in the domains of other Nether Passage experts, it seemed that Di Long was much stronger than that tortoise race expert. Die. Di Long's palm came crashing through space at Long Chen. If struck, he would definitely die. Suddenly, space exploded, and sword light slashed onto Di Long's life and death domain and through Di Long's palm. Boom. Spatial fragments danced like the wings of a butterfly. The world shuddered. D Long. Do you even have the slightest face left? You actually attacked my disciple. Ku Jin Ying appeared in the air, pointing at D Long with her sword. She also had black and white runes revolving around her. Like a battle goddess, she was both wild and mighty. Ku Jin Ying and D Long's appearance caused an uproar. The two of them were leaders of the Ancient Family Alliance and the Martial Heaven Alliance. Now, they were facing each other as enemies.
Perhaps the entire central plains were about to be thrown into chaos. Father, save me, shouted Di Xin. Long Chen conveniently swung his hand, shattering half of Di Xin's face and sending his teeth flying. Today, not even a god can save you. Long Chen held Di Xin's throat like holding a chicken. He suddenly gave Di Xin a kick to his abdomen. Di Xin's manifestation had still been present, but now it vanished like smoke. Heavens, he crippled Di Xin's Danshan. Long Chen had clearly crushed the core of Di Xin's Danshan. Di Xin was now a cripple. Even if Di Long could manage to somehow restore his spirit root, Di Xin would have missed his golden cultivation period. He wouldn't have any further room for growth. Long Chen, I will kill you. Di Long roared furiously and charged over. However, he had just moved when Ku Jin Ying's sword pierced toward him. An icy sword Qi made his soul shake. I think I'd rather kill you instead. Ku Jin Ying was also infuriated. Black and white light circulated around her sword. With a single slash, a long cut appeared within heaven and earth. Ku Jin Ying was truly and fully enraged. Originally, Ku Jin Ying had been tolerating some of the ancient family alliance's excessive actions. After all, they had once been allies. The Martial Heaven Alliance was now surrounded by enemies. To win back a single alley, or even keep them neutral, was a good result. However, when Ku Jin Ying saw the Lu siblings' corpses, she went berserk. She had immediately examined the souls of the spectators and learned what had happened. She knew that this was most definitely a trap Di Xin had arranged for Long Chen. Now, Di Long actually thought that he had a right to kill Long Chen. Since her fury was completely out of her control, her sword was merciless as she repeatedly launched killing blows. Run. Nether Passage experts are fighting. We might get killed. Clearwind City's experts turned green with terror and fled into the distance. Some people weren't even interested in watching such an intense fight and directly used transportation formations to flee. If these two Nether Passage experts went crazy, then not even the entirety of Clearwind City would be enough to contain their power. Losing their lives to watch this wasn't worth it. Long Chen stood on the ground, holding the back of Di Xin's neck and forcing him to kneel on the ground. He emotionlessly watched Ku Jin Ying and Di Long fight in the air. In the distance, Xiang Yanfei was glaring daggers at him. Long Chen had disregarded him twice to capture Di Xin. That was a kind of disregard and an extremely great insult. However, with Di Xin in Long Chen's hands, Xiang Yanfei didn't dare to attack. He could only keep a close eye on him, waiting for a chance to strike. All of Clearwind City was rattled. Mass panic ensued. Multiple terrifying auras began to rise within Clearwind City. Clearly, other old monsters had been disturbed. Holding Di Xin and looking at the fight, Long Chen suddenly sneered and slashed his saber behind him. A hand appeared in the space behind him, and as a result, his saber struck it. Blood splashed through the air. Chapter 1776 Di Xin's mother translator. Born to be that hand that appeared in the air was slender with black and white runes revolving around it. Covered in life and death energy, it had silently broken through space to strike Long Chen from behind. But Long Chen's saber struck it, causing a cut to appear on it. Evil Moon only just cut through the skin, before it cut the entire palm in two. A burst of life and death energy suddenly erupted from the palm, blasting Long Chen away. Long Chen snorted and dragged Di Xin with him. He turned back to look at where the palm had come from. The space there twisted, revealing the owner of that hand. It was a woman seemingly in her forties wearing grand apparel. The woman's face was dark, and killing intent blazed in her eyes. A powerful aura locked onto Long Chen. Mom, that woman was like a final ray of hope to Di Xin. Long Chen slapped him for shouting as he retreated. Long Chen, release my son, or I'll exterminate your entire family and your entire sect. Anyone even remotely related to you will be buried, shouted the woman. She was Di Long's wife, as well as Di Xin's mother. Seeing her son being tormented by Long Chen, with even his Danchen crippled, she was completely infuriated. If it weren't for the fact that Di Xin was still in Long Chen's hands, She'd have long since used her full power and destroyed Long Chen. Di Xin's mother was a figure that the experts here had only heard of but never personally seen. All they knew was that Di Xin's mother came from an extremely mysterious power. However, no one had expected her to be a terrifying Nether Passage expert. 
Without a word, Long Chen tore off one of Di Xin's arms. Di Xin screamed. You. Di Xin's mother shuddered from rage, her eyes scarlet. Long Chen was ignoring her threat. Are you unaware of what kind of child you gave birth to? If your son can harm others, others can harm him. Other than that, I don't accept other people's threats. Not even if those threats came from the heavens. So save the effort, said Long Chen. Di Xin's life was in his hands. His mother had tried to sneak attack Long Chen to save him, but Long Chen had sensed it, so this threat was useless. All the experts stared at Long Chen with shock. Unexpectedly, the legends were really true. Long Chen was so tough that he didn't even place nether passage experts in his eyes, right in front of Di Xin's mother and father. Two terrifying nether passage experts. He continued to torment their son. That was too crazy. No wonder there's the name of the Eastern Madman. No one can compare to this craziness. Even facing Nether Passage experts, Long Chen was still so domineering. People couldn't help feeling some admiration for him. This didn't just require bravery but also a corresponding power. Boom. Life and death energy exploded in the void, causing the world to shake. Hu Jinying and Di Long had exchanged blows once more, causing the void to collapse. The two of you are both leaders of your alliances. You should take the big picture into consideration. If the two of you were to fight, it wouldn't be good for the continent their fighting had disturbed four elders. They appeared in the air, three men and one woman. They were also nether passage experts. The four of them separated Di Long and Hu Jinying. They had clearly come to mediate things. After all, if two nether passage experts were to fight all out, it was unknown how many lives would be extinguished in Clearwind City. Di Long, you really do think you can bully me? For the big picture, I've made concessions to you over and over again, but you continue to press me. Your son set down a trap to kill my two most outstanding disciples. If you don't give me an explanation, I will immediately issue the Martial Heaven Order to have a match to the death with you. Aren't you constantly probing my bottom line? Then have a good look at it. When I destroy your ancient family alliance, let's see if those allies behind you will actually help you. Hu Jinying was still enraged. The first commander and second commander's deaths were not so easily brushed off. Although Hu Jinying appeared tough on the outside, she had a soft spot inside, especially for her disciples. She cared deeply for them. That was especially true of the first and second commanders. In their youth, they had had nothing to rely on and could only rely on themselves. Hu Jinying had pitied them and accepted them into the Martial Heaven Alliance. However, their talent had then bloomed. Even Hu Jinying hadn't expected them to have such accomplishments. As they continued to grow, Hu Jinying had even viewed them as the hope of the Martial Heaven Alliance, viewing them as her own children. Now that the two of them had died, she felt a heart-wrenching pain, as well as shame. She should never have made concessions to the ancient family alliance, as this was what she had gotten in return. Alliance head was just speaking words of anger. If the Martial Heaven Alliance were to go to war against the ancient family alliance, it would only benefit others. Ignoring the corrupt path for now, the other powers on the continent would be very pleased with such a thing. Wouldn't you then have fallen for their sinister scheme? Let's consider the big picture, said one of the four elders amicably. What he said was the truth. The Martial Heaven Alliance's power far surpassed the ancient family alliance, but if they were to fight to the death, they would take heavy losses, with both of them weakened, ignoring what the corrupt path would do. Just Pill Valley, the ancient races, and the Xuan beasts would start to devour their territory. This kind of war did not benefit the Martial Heaven Alliance the ancient family alliance, or the continent, the big picture, because of the big picture, I've been made a fool, my own disciples dying miserable deaths, you think I give a damn about your big picture, raged Hu Jinying, Di Long's expression was also extremely ugly, he had completely infuriated Hu Jinying now, and that wasn't what he wanted, he had not expected for Hu Jinying's two strongest commanders to die here, he was also stifling his rage, this trap isn't targeted toward the Martial Heaven Alliance. Furthermore, I'm aware of my son's intelligence. He couldn't have come up with such a meticulous trap, said Di Long darkly. He understood his immature and arrogant son far too well. 
His intelligence was not high enough to come up with such a trap. Di Long was not a fool, and he had also investigated the soul of one of Di Xin's followers while fighting. He had seen what had happened and smelled the scent of a trap. Although saying this made it sound like his son was an idiot who had been used, there was no other way to resolve this. Hu Jin Ying was enraged. If the Martial Heaven Alliance were to go to war with the Ancient Family Alliance, that would be huge. This trap made Di Long feel a sense of unease. He had been schemed against by others. No one had told him that this would happen. That was what made him uneasy, that no one had told him about this. It was just as Hu Jin Ying said. If their two alliances were to go to war, would those so-called allies of his really help him, or would they just stand to the side and reap the benefits? Everyone, let's not randomly guess. This is no scheme or trap. Mr. Dishin invited me to Clear Wind City, saying that Long Chen had gone there. Considering my enmity with him, I decided to come to challenge him. But as soon as I saw Mr. Dishin, I also saw Di Ruiyan say a few flirtatious words to that woman. Unexpectedly, she immediately became hostile and challenged Di Ruiyan to a death match. She couldn't even handle a few jokes and then killed herself. As a result, her big brother tried to take vengeance for her, but he was a joke. The human race is so laughable and weak. Unable to defeat Di Ruiyan, the big brother committed suicide as well. The human race really is skilled in this. Xiang Yunfei, who hadn't spoken this entire time suddenly opened his mouth. This explanation made everyone present think that this might be a coincidence because no trap could be so perfect. However, Hu Jin Ying and Di Long did not think like that. They both smelled something that they didn't like. They already had suspicions about the person who had planned this. To make a trap so perfect, perhaps the only possibility was Heavenly Fate Island. Long Chen, you came for me, so if you have any gods. You'll release Di Xin and have a real fight against me. Xiang Yunfei pointed the bone spear in his hand at Long Chen. After having Long Chen ignore him multiple times, Xiang Yunfei was humiliated. Even a normal person wouldn't be able to endure such a thing, let alone an expert of his level. If he didn't find a way to beat Long Chen, he would become a laughing stock. Long Chen ignored Xiang Yunfei. He was looking at the sky. It was unknown what he was thinking. Long Chen, release my son. If you release him, I can let this matter go. Otherwise, Di Xin's mother shouted angrily upon seeing Long Chen not reply. A-H-H. Before she was even done speaking, Di Xin's other arm separated from his body. It was torn off by Long Chen. You still have three chances left to threaten me, said Long Chen indifferently. Three chances? Everyone quickly understood. Long Chen was talking about Di Xin's two legs and his head. His ruthlessness gave them chills. You. Di Xin's mother trembled with rage. She was less than 300 meters from Long Chen, but she didn't dare to attack. She didn't have a life and death domain as powerful as Di Long, and couldn't make it so that he couldn't move. If she tried to attack, Long Chen would definitely be able to kill Di Xin. She was caught between a rock and a hard place. She clenched her teeth looking like she wanted to bite Long Chen to death. Xiang Yunfei, your enmity with Long Chen can be resolved later. Let's deal with the important things first. Everyone, you have your own heads, so don't fall for other people's traps, advised the old woman. That's right, this matter is clear. As for the one behind the scenes controlling things, I'm sure everyone already has their own thoughts as to who that is. If you allow this conflict to grow, You'll have really fallen for this trap. These children are innocent and are merely being used. There's no need to meaninglessly increase the number of sacrifices, advised another elder. His status was not low, and amongst these four Nether Passage experts, he was the leader. Furthermore, his words were very reasonable. Hu Jin Ying didn't reply. Instead, she looked at Long Chen. Following that, Everyone's gaze is concentrated on him. Chapter 1777 He is still a child translator. Born to be Hu Jin Ying wished to kill Di Long right now. Unfortunately as long as her brain was functional, she wouldn't do something so foolish. Clearly, Di Xin had been used by someone else. That fool's idiocy had forced these two huge powers to an extremely dangerous precipice. Hu Jin Ying was filled with hatred. 
but her mind told her that she couldn't continue like this. If they fought, they would fall into the enemy's trap, and it wouldn't be a situation that they could recover from. However, she was also unwilling to just swallow this. Her head felt a bit messy, so she turned to Long Chen, leaving this decision to him. This action caused all the experts' gazes to fall on Long Chen. Long Chen, Di Xin's mother once more opened her mouth. You shut up. A furious roar rang out. This roar didn't come from Long Chen but from Di Long. He bitterly hated this wife of his. His genius son had been raised into an idiot by her, and she didn't even realize that it was her fault. If she further antagonized Long Chen, considering his fearless nature, who could guarantee what he would do? At this time, the head elder gently said, Long Chen, you are an overlord in your own right. Even at such a young age, you swept through the eastern Xuan region. In the junior generation, no one can contend against you. Most recently, even with countless other geniuses competing, you managed to win first place on the Devil Slaughter rankings, winning karmic luck for the righteous path. You are an intelligent person, and you can also see that this is simply a trap. You know their goal. Whether it's a trap has nothing to do with me. As for their goal, I don't care. Long Chen shook his head. However, you can't possibly not care about the millions and millions of lives within the Ancient Family Alliance and the Martial Heaven Alliance. If these two powers were to clash, how many innocent people would lose their lives? As a member of the Righteous Path, you have your own responsibility and mission. You cannot decide things based on your temper. Ha ha ha. Long Chen suddenly laughed disdainfully. Why laugh? The Elder did not get angry. However, the other Nether Passage expert's expression sank slightly, dissatisfied with Long Chen's arrogance. After all, they were Nether Passage experts, people who were on the same level as the patriarchs of the large sects. Just speaking with a soul transformation disciple was a loss of status on their part. As for Long Chen's attitude, it was clear that he didn't care about their status. However, it also wasn't a convenient situation for them to say anything. A family had nine sons. The hardworking one died first because he worked himself to death. The lazy one lived long due to his laziness. The smart one was tired due to his intelligence. The ignorant one was leisurely due to his. Long Chen began to recite a common story set in the Phoenix Cry Empire. It was something a wise man had written. Its meaning was that there were nine sons in a prosperous family. There was a smart one, a dumb one, a hardworking one and a lazy one. As a result, of the outstanding ones, the hardest working one died of exhaustion, and the smartest one grew ill from taking on so much and died. The sensible ones constantly had to look after their brothers that weren't sensible, and their dejection eventually led to illness that caused their deaths. Once they were dead, the remaining ones, who had grown dependent on them, lost their ability to survive on their own. As a result, all nine died. It was an exaggerated story, but it did contain wisdom. In real life, those who were most outstanding had to endure greater pressure, and it resulted in them suffering more. As for those who caused trouble, their parents had to pamper them and pay special attention to them. It was like the strong had to let others take advantage of them until they died from it. That was a morbid logic. Now Long Chen was bringing up this story from the secular world here. It formed a resonance with many people and they understood what he was saying. Just how much had our alliance leader suffered because she was smart enough to care about the big picture? As for Di Long, he was also the leader of his alliance. So why should he get to be willful and stupid while Ku Jianying suffered? This was trouble that he had provoked. So he had to pay for it. Everyone was silent. Long Chen's words contained great power. I understand what you mean, but sometimes the process isn't important. Instead, a peaceful conclusion is what matters. Isn't that all we want in the end? Exercising forbearance and yielding is sometimes the wisest decision that can win you the most things, said the elder. The conclusion? Senior, have you seen the conclusion? Have you managed to see the future of the continent? You're right. The process isn't important. What's important is the result. But before the result appears, who can say whether an action is right or wrong? If you really could see the conclusion, you'd have probably long since ascended instead of staying in this world, said Long Chen. What nonsense. 
Senior Dong Ming is speaking to you out of the kindness of his heart, telling you not to go too far. Pay attention to your status. Finally, one of the other Nether Passage elders could not bear with Long Chen's attitude. So, unable to defeat someone in logic, you use your seniority to suppress them. Because your seniority is greater, your words are then the correct ones? Whoever's cultivation base is the strongest has the authority to speak. If that's the case, then why bother? Let's just fight. After living so many years, it seems maggots have infested your brain. Long Chen's angrily laughed. This kind of person was precisely the kind he looked down upon the most. You little bastard. That nether passage elder was about to attack when he was held back by the leader. Long Chen, now is not the time to get hot-headed. My head is not hot. This idiot Dishin is just an ant in my eyes and isn't qualified to affect my emotions. I'm only killing him because of a promise to the first commander. A promise that only men would understand. His beloved sister was worth ten times his own life. But he was unable to avenge her. So he entrusted this to me. To tell the truth. I'm glad the Alliance head hasn't decided to concede again. If she had. I would be leaving the Martial Heaven Alliance. Today. No one can stop me from killing Dishin. Even if I had to toss my life away here. I would kill him to accomplish what the first commander entrusted me with. His words shook people's hearts. He seemed like a god as he stood there, filled with unstoppable determination. The heavens could crumble, the earth could shatter, but his determination would not waver. His determination would not be the slightest bit shaken even if blood soaked this land and bones rained from the sky. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, King King held the first and second commander's corpses, her tears once more streaming. No wonder the first commander had trusted Long Chen so much. Perhaps only men could understand this kind of trust. The two of them hadn't even known each other. With just one look, because of just one promise, Long Chen was willing to go to the ends of the earth. Long Chen, beside King King was Yi Lingxian. She bit her lip, also crying. This was obstinate, something an ordinary person could not understand. But it was moving. Everyone was silent their hearts shaking. Today's men had fallen in terms of honor, but Long Chen had not. Because of one promise, he was willing to become enemies with multiple Nether Passage experts. This was a real expert, a real hero. As expected, the same character as the old man. Hu Jinying cursed inside as she stared at Long Chen. She felt profoundly helpless over this character of his. She was never able to be like that. She was the leader of the Martial Heaven Alliance and had to do what was best for the Martial Heaven Alliance. A favor, an emotional tie would only affect her decisions minutely. That was why Ku Jinying was unable to be as willful as she wished to be. A single bad mistake on her part could cost countless lives. She couldn't bear something like that. Long Chen, you have to be clear. There are two kinds of duty in this world. This promise of yours is a small one. But you have a much greater responsibility to this world and its billions of lives. That's true righteousness. So don't make this conflict worse. You've already killed Di Ruyan and crippled Di Xin. You've already avenged the two of them. Why must you kill Di Xin and worsen things? Asked the elder. However, as he was advising him, Hu Jin Ying's expression changed slightly. This elder voice was heavy and gentle as he spoke. He was using the life and death energy of a nether passage expert in a hypnotic manner. This hypnotic art was something that nether passage experts used when teaching their disciples. It contained their understanding of life and death, as well as heavenly Tao energy. It formed a resonance with the people hearing it, making them approve of their words. Hu Jinying was about to speak when the other elders looked at her profoundly. Alliance head, that Dizin's status is special. He can be crippled but he definitely cannot be allowed to be killed. You understand, said one of the elders coldly to Ku Jinying. Ku Jinying looked at Long Chen, struggling. Long Chen's expression was currently softening. Clearly, he was affected by the elder's voice. Her thoughts were in a mess, and she didn't know what she should do. She truly did want to be willful and get her vengeance. But if she did choose to be willful, the pain and suffering of this decision would be something others were forced to bear. Long Chen, a person should take the long view, do things to get better. In the future, the Martial Heaven Alliance and the Ancient Family Alliance can be united against the corrupt path. 
there won't be any more enmity between the two sides. Releasing Dishin is releasing all the enmity between them. Your own life will become much easier. Continued the elder. That's right. Dishin is still a child. So release him. Suddenly. Dishin's mother also spoke. The elder's expressions changed. But fortunately. She was also using the same hypnotic art. Long Chen nodded. Yes. Since you're saying he's still just a child. Fine. Long Chen actually released Dishin's neck. Delighting everyone. However. Dizin's mother had already made her decision. She was the closest one to Long Chen. While his mind was still being affected, she would kill him. Long Chen slammed his hand into Dizin's head. Fine. I will give him a chance to reincarnate. Chapter 1778 Life for Life Translator. Born to be blood mist erupted, and Dizin's headless corpse slowly fell. Long Chen's palm had destroyed his Yuan spirit. Long Chen's sudden attack stunned the Nether Passage experts. This sudden change caught them off guard. They had thought that Long Chen had fallen for their hypnotic arts. Only to see such a thing. I have gone through the Netherworld and descended into Purgatory. Your little life and death energy is useless against me. My will is not something that you can shake. Long Chen shook his head. Long Chen. Di Xin's mother's face twisted like a ghoul's and she charged at Long Chen furiously. Evil moon swung through the air, its dragon marks lit up, and darkness filled the world for an instant. An ear-piercing whistle rang out. Long Chen seemed to have long since expected Di Xin's mother to attack, and this slash of his suddenly erupted with power. Boom. Life and death energy exploded. As a result, Long Chen was blown back, his legs leaving a long scar on the ground. His chest had caved in, and blood dripped out of his mouth. He leaned against his saber his gaze as sharp as a blade, his body was bent slightly, poised like a cheetah looking at its prey, as for where Long Chen originally was, Di Xin's mother was standing in shock, blood was slowly pouring out of her chest, she had actually been pierced through by Long Chen's saber, Evil Moon was long and wide, its tip was curved like a crescent moon and incomparably sharp, at the same time as it had pierced her chest, it had ripped out of a hunk of her flesh, it was almost possible to see through her injury. He actually pierced the life and death domain shield of a nether passage expert. How is that possible all the experts were stunned. Long Chen was just in the soul transformation realm. The nether passage realm was in an entirely different dimension. So just how had he managed to break her defenses? The life and death domain was an area where the nether passage expert was in full control. They were like a ruler and the energy within it could be controlled the same way as an arm or a leg. Even the heavenly deos were unable to disturb them within this domain. However, that wasn't a nether passage expert's strongest point. When their life and death domain was active, they had an invisible defense around them. This defense had no openings, and all attacks would be forced back by it. This was different from when Long Chen had previously injured Di Xin's mother. At that time, she had been launching a sneak attack and hadn't had her life and death domain active. Now, she had unleashed her full power domain. But even in that situation, Long Chen was able to endure her attack and injure her. This shocked all the experts here. Di Xin's mother in particular was pale with fright. Originally, she had been planning on killing Long Chen with this attack. And she had viewed his counterattack as insignificant. She had been confident that when her palm landed... Even 10 lives wouldn't be enough to save Long Chen. However, her arm was shorter than Long Chen's saber. When it had stabbed into her, her body had stiffened. An intense feeling of death had overwhelmed her. Hence, she had instinctively retreated and retracted 90% of her power. This ended up saving her own life. If Evil Moon's energy had erupted within her without her blocking it, her body would have exploded. This resulted in only 10% of her power striking Long Chen, causing him to only be lightly injured. The people watching had no idea that so much had occurred in that instant. All they saw was Long Chen exchange injury for injury with a Nether Passage expert. His attack had been effective against a Nether Passage expert. Looks like you're afraid of death. If you really loved your son, you would have done anything to kill me, but you refused to die with me. It can only be said that the one you love the most is yourself. I put my life on the line for a promise. While you weren't even able to muster the courage to avenge your son. People like you are only selfish egomaniacs. 
Long Chen rested Evil Moon on his shoulder. A chilling will began to rise out of him, and his black robe started to float. The only thing on his face was iciness. He was facing a terrifying nether passage expert, but his aura was not at all inferior to hers. Instead, it was even vaster, even sharper, filled with an unstoppable, undefeatable will. Dizin's mother was still stunned, staring at the huge injury on her chest. Her blood was still flowing out. This was an inconceivable scene. The four Nether Passage elders were also stunned. This was completely different from their expectations. All right. Dizin's already dead. A person's death is like the extinguishing of a lantern, not worth half a copper coin. This matter can end here, said Long Chen indifferently. What crap? You killed my son. I will tear you to pieces. Dizin's mother let out a furious roar, aggravating her injury and causing her to cough up a mouthful of blood. The injury to her chest was constantly healing and tearing. This was the evil energy that Evil Moon had left behind. Even her life and death energy was unable to expel it. This moment showed Evil Moon's power. The reason why Long Chen had managed to pierce her defenses was because he had relied on Evil Moon. Facing a Nether Passage expert, Evil Moon was truly showing its power. It had not only pierced her defense, but it even had left behind evil energy in the injury, making it difficult to heal. This gravely affected her combat power. Hence, Di Xin's mother was shocked and didn't attack Long Chen again. His attack frightened her. You want to kill me? Why would you do that? Just because I killed your son? How unreasonable Long Chen's killing intent vanished. He had an astonished expression as if what had just happened had nothing to do with him. Long Chen, why ask a question you already know the answer to? This time, even the head elder that had advised Long Chen to release Di Xin couldn't bear to continue watching. How did I ask a question I already know the answer to? You killed a mother's son right in front of her. Just how cruel is that? And you still asked such a question. That elder's tone was starting to grow harsh. Is that a joke? Why is it cruel for me to kill her son? Tell me, who doesn't have a mother? Who doesn't have a father? Who is born from a rock? The first commander and second commander are orphans. Is that why it's all right for them to die such miserable deaths? Did they deserve it? Demanded Long Chen. The female elder shouted. You are shut your mouth. I wasn't done speaking. Did your parents never teach you that it's very rude to interrupt others? Cursed Long Chen. All I did was kill a single one of Di Long's sons. As for the alliance head, she viewed the first commander and the second commander as her own children. Di Xin caused the two of them to die, while I only killed one of Di Long's sons. So Di Long actually still owes me one life. What? Do the mediators have a double standard? Di Long's son is his son, while the alliance head's children aren't? I dare you to tell me another joke. Right before I kill Di Xin. You advised me to consider the big picture and all life in this world. But now that they want to kill me, somehow those considerations no longer matter. Why don't you think about the words you said to me before? Don't you feel a fiery sensation on your faces? Can you try and stop being so shameless? Long Chen was angry. It was the same scenario, the same theory, but only the person had changed. When it was his turn to be the victim, they had completely different standards. They had acted so sanctimoniously before to criticize him for going too far. This so-called justice and fairness were just a cold joke. Long Chen's cursing rang through the air, shaking people's hearts. It seemed that his words weren't wrong. Before this, Di Xin had caused the first commander and second commander to die. However, those four Nether Passage elders had advised him to keep the peace and let things go since things were already in the past. Now that Long Chen had killed Di Xin, there was no need to let things go and leave them in the past. They were all against him. That was truly unfair. However, even if the spectators knew that was unfair, the other side was composed of Nether Passage experts. So what if they weren't fair? How were you supposed to go against them? So although no one said anything, countless experts were filled with admiration toward Long Chen for daring to call out Nether Passage experts on their hypocrisy. Which expert present hadn't had to endure similar oppression? Who hadn't had to endure all kinds of various injustices? But they had only been able to take it. However, Long Chen, a soul transformation disciple, 
dared to speak so viciously to those high and mighty nether passage experts. Furthermore, he had even dared to exchange his life for Dizin's mother's. All that, just for a promise to someone he hadn't even known before. Long Chen, your heart is full of darkness. An extremist like you threatens the stability of the righteous path. Alliance head Gu, my apologies, but this Long Chen must be suppressed. The head Nether Passage Elder apologized to Ku Jinying. Ku Jinying's expression changed, and her grip on her sword tightened. However, Di Long and two other Nether Passage experts appeared in front of her. Long Chen, I won't kill you, but you must be suppressed for at least a hundred years. I have no other choice, so I hope you won't blame me. The elder suddenly raised a hand. Golden light filled the sky. Streaks of light shot toward Long Chen. I don't blame you. But don't blame me if I kill you. Long Chen snorted and raised Evil Moon. Divine light shone from it. This would be a truly dangerous battle. However, his gaze was still cold. Today, even if he had to die, he would drag down a few others with him. Just at this moment, a ray of black light pierced through the void from some unknown location. Chapter 1779 Grand Elder Yan Nanshan Translator Born to be a black light suddenly appeared completely ignoring that elder's life and death domain and flying right by his cheek. The black light pierced a mountain and continued for thousands of miles before tumbling down. This attack caused time to stand still. Everyone was holding their breath. When they saw what that black light had been, they couldn't help gasping. It was a chopstick. It was a completely ordinary bamboo chopstick that still had some oil on it, as if someone had just been using it to eat. It's not very good to say that you'll suppress someone else's child. Space twisted, and an ancient figure appeared in the air. This figure held a wine cup in his left hand and a single chopstick in his right hand. That chopstick was the same as the one that had just flown out. Clearly, that attack had come from him. Grand Uncle Master, exclaimed Kujinying. This elder was one of the Martial Heaven Alliance's Grand Elders. Kujinying's Grand Uncle Master, Yan Nanshan, you. You're still alive. The elder that had just been about to attack Long Chen was astonished. His expression completely changed. There was no reaction amongst the junior generation when Yan Nanshan's name was spoken, but the most senior experts present were all stunned. What? Am I supposed to have died? Haven't you heard of a certain amazing existence in the world called the Undying Old Fart? Yan Nanshan smiled faintly. He had previously restored his youthful appearance but now he appeared so old that he was halfway to the grave. The reason why he had restored his youth previously was to feel the change in the world. However, maintaining that state was a burden to his body, so staying like this saved him energy. Yan Nanshan's gaze swept over the four elders. Even if my family's child was wrong, it's not up to you to punish him. Don't you think your claws have stretched too far today? Although his voice contained no furious emotions. The words alone expressed his dissatisfaction. Those four elders immediately shut their mouths. Perhaps others might not know Yan Nanshan, but they had heard his legend. He was a fierce figure capable of doing anything. Long Chen killed my son. He deliberately shattered the unity of our two alliances, which will tear apart the Martial Heaven Alliance. Only suppressing him a hundred years is far from enough punishment. Di Long spoke up. Although he had heard of Yan Nanshan and his fame, he had no choice, or he would appear too cowardly. I can't be bothered to play that game with you. You youngsters might like it, but I got tired of it in my youth. Why is it that you can kill my Martial Heaven Alliance's children, but we must pay when we kill your people? This theory of yours would only work if your ancient family alliance could suppress us. Perhaps if the Mo family was still in charge of the ancient family alliance. You might have some ability to fight against the Martial Heaven Alliance. But as for your D family, you should just give up. After living off a woman for so many years, your fangs have already rotted. Yan Nanshan shook his head indifferently. Long Chen was startled by this revelation. The Mo family? Mo Nian's family? He actually had such a terrifying background? As for living off a woman, what was that supposed to mean? Long Chen suddenly stared at Di Xin's mother. Are you saying that my son died for nothing? Demanded Di Xin's mother. These words of yours are lacking any skill. Your son killed others. So did they die for nothing? Asked Yan Nanshan. 
How is that the same? They were just ants. While my son, your son was just a pig. Long Chen couldn't stop himself. Although the first commander and second commander weren't personally killed by your son, without his orders, would Di Ruiyan have acted so arrogantly? To put it bluntly, your son was the main culprit. I killed your son. So if you have any grievances, you can come at me. Whatever you want to try, I'll receive it. I don't have much else, but I have a group of hot-blooded brothers. We have over 10,000 lives that will accompany you at any time. Long Chen's words caused the people present to jump. Just what was he doing? He was pulling all the hatred and enmity to himself. Was he planning on leaving the Martial Heaven Alliance? Long Chen. Hu Jianying shouted. Everyone, stop making a fuss. I will handle this. It is still not the turn of you babies to act as the hosts. Yan Nanshan waved his hand, stopping Hu Jianying. To Di Zin's mother, he said. Don't think that you are untouchable because of your family's status. The world has changed. With the great era here, no one can say what will come in the future. As for this matter, you don't have the slightest advantage here. Even if you went crying to your family, do you think they would dare to punish Long Chen in spite of the world's opinions? First of all, you must understand the principle that children must take responsibility for their own actions. Second, even if you had a certain status amongst your family, you have no good excuse to bring them to attack Long Chen. Third, the Martial Heaven Alliance still has a few undying old farts present, so it's not like just anyone can bully us. So, I won't bother to waste any more words with you. This is karma. If you brewed a bitter drink, you'll be the one drinking it in the end. Clearly, Yan Nanshan was clear on Di Zin's mother's status and didn't care. So his tone was indifferent and even contemptuous. You. Di Zin's mother seemed to have lost her greatest trump card. Her whole body shuddered with rage. Suddenly, she turned and cursed at Long Chen like an old vixen. Long Chen, you goddamn little bastard. Just wait. I swear I will make you live a life worse than death. Don't think that they can protect you. You're too naive. Not only will I kill you, but everyone beside you will also accompany you in death. As for those women of yours, I will Long Chen slash Devil Moon directly at Di Zin's mother. Sharp saber light erupted. This time, Di Zin's mother was prepared. A bracelet came off her arm and formed a foot thick light ring before Evil Moon. Boom. A powerful explosion of divine power sent Di Zin's mother flying away and hacking up blood. The injury to her chest that had mostly recovered split open once more. HMPH. You underestimated my dark energy. Did you think you could suppress it? How foolish, sneered Evil Moon. Facing a nether passage expert, Long Chen was in great danger on his own. So Evil Moon naturally didn't hold back. If Di Zin's mother hadn't sensed the danger, the previous attack would have killed her. However, it had still managed to invade her body with its dark energy. With this second attack, Evil Moon's dark energy caused the injury to suddenly flare up, causing her to be at a disadvantage. She was sent flying by Long Chen. Since that's the case, let's not wait. I'll kill you right now. Long Chen shot toward her, repeatedly slashing Evil Moon, using greater and greater power. He forced Di Zin's mother to repeatedly retreat. Di Long was shocked and infuriated. Although he disliked this woman of his, he knew that she was still very powerful. Seeing her being forced back by Long Chen, he reached out to help. However, he had just moved before Ku Jianying's sharp aura locked onto him. If he wanted to help, he would have to get past her first. Di Long exploded in anger. However, he suddenly thought of something and didn't attack. Instead, he looked at Ku Jianying with a cold smile. On the other side, Long Chen was attacking with fiercer and fiercer power. His power surged, and each slash contained a bit of power from his previous slash. The immense power was sending Di Zin's mother flying back. Heavens, Long Chen really is heaven defying. At just the soul transformation realm, he can defeat a nether passage expert. A soul transformation disciple is definitely incapable of defeating a nether passage expert. There are two major realms between them. It's an uncrossable divide. The reason Long Chen has an advantage is because Di Zin's mother was previously injured by him. If my guess isn't wrong. There's poison on Long Chen's saber. HMPH. To apply poison to his saber. This Long Chen is really shameless. 
He will use any means necessary to achieve his goals, sneered an expert from the ancient races. Fuck your poison. Who do you think Long Chen is? As soon as the ancient race expert said this, he was cursed by the surrounding people, half-breed of the ancient races. If you say something stupid like that again, we'll beat the crap out of you. Scram back to your nest. The disciples here were naturally enraged. For a single promise, Long Chen had not hesitated to become enemies with so many Nether Passage experts. Furthermore, even in the face of such danger, he had still killed Di Xin to fulfill his promise. His actions had brought him immense danger, but he had still gone through with it. Just how brave, how courageous was that? Who else would do such a thing for a promise to a stranger? Hence, they refused to allow anyone to slander Long Chen. That ancient race expert still wanted to say a few more things, but seeing the unfriendly gazes around him, he swallowed his words. He saw several people looking at him with killing intent. A dragon has a reverse scale that will provoke anger if touched. You think your background is tough, but I think my life is tougher. So let's see just which one is tougher. Huge saber images soared out of Evil Moon as Long Chen repeatedly forced Di Xin's mother back. Her hair was a mess, and she was filled with hatred. It wasn't that she wasn't as strong as Long Chen, but that Evil Moon was interfering with her injury. She was spending the majority of her energy suppressing the dark energy in her injury, causing her to be at such a disadvantage. Long Chen, you're only fit to bully a woman. I, Xiang Yunfei, will defeat you. Suddenly. 108 bone spears gathered to form one giant spear that pierced toward Long Chen. Xiang Yunfei had finally made his move. Chapter 1780 Fighting Xiang Yunfei Translator Born to be the 108 heavenly bone spears had merged into one giant spear. Cold light illuminated Clear Wind City. It pierced mercilessly toward Long Chen. Long Chen had been in the midst of forcing back Di Xin's mother repeatedly when Evil Moon suddenly slashed out using her as a rebound to fly back and avoid this thunderous attack. The spear pierced into the ground, causing the world to shake. Xiang Yunfei waved his hand, retrieving his heavenly bone spears. They formed a circular barrier around himself. These 108 heavenly bone spears had been fully refined by Xiang Yunfei. He commanded them easily. And, calm your anger. Let me take revenge for Di Xin. I'll kill this bastard. Xiang Yunfei flew over in front of Di Xin's mother, blocking Long Chen. Di Xin's mother was covered in blood. The injury to her chest had been growing worse and worse. It wouldn't have been long before she would lose her ability to continue fighting. Di Long's expression didn't change, but if one were to pay close attention to him, it would seem as if he was disappointed. It seems you no longer care if this woman of yours is killed, sneered Ku Jinying. What nonsense are you talking about? Rage Di Long. If she dies, this matter will blow up, but in a way that is even more favorable to you. Isn't that right? Said Ku Jinying. Don't spout nonsense. You won't be able to drive a wedge between us. Snorted Di Long. But he no longer bothered with Ku Jinying. He walked over to his wife and placed a hand on her back, helping her heal. However, before his hand could touch her, Di Xin's mother slapped him in the face, cursing. Di Long. You useless bastard. Your own son was killed. And you don't even dare to make a sound. Are you even a man? How about I find a random man here to give you a green hat and see if you can still stay so calm. Di Xin's mother was naturally a wild woman. And she was now enraged. Her son had died in front of her. And she was powerless to avenge him. Then her husband was actually blocked by Ku Jinying and didn't dare to do anything. Her rage was now fully unleashed on Di Long. Ku Jinying's words further enraged her, so she had immediately slapped Di Long. You, have you gone crazy? Raged Di Long. He clenched his fists furiously, wishing to smash her to death right now. I am crazy. My son was killed, and you didn't even make a sound. But I can't do the same because that was my son. Are you so calm because it's my son with that other man and has nothing to do with you? Roared Di Xin's mother. Shut up. If you keep nattering. I'll kill you. Di Long furiously slapped his wife in the face. Her face turned into a massive pulp. You dare to hit me? Good. Good. Di Long. Just wait. I'll make you regret this. Di Xin's mother clenched her teeth. She glared at Di Long and walked to her own position. 
She was clearly drawing a line between herself and Di Long. Di Long was infuriated. He was ashen faced as he stood there, not making a sound. He just coldly watched Long Chen and Xiang Yanfei. Xiang Yanfei's 108 heavenly bone spear shone with a cold light. He stood in the air, looking at Long Chen. Long Chen, you killed my brother. Today, even if I have to die, I will kill you to comfort brother Di Zin's soul. When he said this, Di Zin's mother was a bit moved. She hadn't expected that Xiang Yanfei's feelings toward Di Xin were so strong. Compared to Di Long, Xiang Yanfei was someone who truly cared about relationships. Even some of the spectators were moved. Long Chen rested Evil Moon on his shoulder, indifferently saying, Please, start your performance. What are you talking about? demanded Xiang Yanfei. What else could I possibly mean? Using a dead person as an excuse to curry favor with their mother's family. It gives you a grand reason to fight me and wins you a favor. When the time comes, the ancient family alliance and the martial heaven alliance's furious war will result in you sitting back and benefiting, while also pulling in such a powerful helper. Based on this play, you should say something about me being intolerable, and how righteous you are, then about how kind Dishin was, how he loved the commoners, how he helped the sick, and how the two of you were as close as brothers. Then whether you defeat me or lose, you'll achieve your goal. What an excellent idea. Killing multiple birds with one stone. Come, I invite you to start your show. Di Zin's mother's previous feelings of gratitude toward Xiang Yanfei vanished like smoke in the wind. She wasn't a fool, and she understood her son the best. Other than beautiful women, Di Xin didn't care about anything else, especially men who were stronger than him. He definitely wouldn't view such people as friends. If Long Chen hadn't said this, perhaps she really would have been fooled by Xiang Yanfei. The gratitude in her eyes vanished, replaced with profound resentment. Xiang Yanfei was using her son's death to curry favor with her. Hence, how did she know that Di Xin's death wasn't part of Xiang Yanfei's plan? Upon thinking of that, her fury grew to a new level, but she didn't say anything more. Long Chen, you despicable little person. Don't judge others by your own standards, shouted Xiang Yanfei. Compared to Long Chen, Xiang Yanfei was clearly too immature. His intentions were instantly seen through and he lost his cool. This angry shouting of his only confirmed Long Chen's words. Fuck off. How is senior apprentice brother Long Chen a petty little person? For a single promise, he was willing to give up his life and become enemies with nether passage experts. How many people in this world are capable of that? Exactly. Your ancient races are animals who forget your ancestors. What qualifications do you have to slander others when all you do is suck up to the Xuan beasts? HMPH. Just seeing you look down on your human race ancestors. It's clear you're just animals without the culture of the human race. Before Long Chen could even say anything, countless experts in Clear Wind City cursed at Xiang Yanfei. Clearwind City was mostly occupied by the human race. Although there were also some ancient race experts, they were very few in number because it wasn't just the ancient races that rejected the human race. The human race also disliked the ancient races. Xiang Yanfei's killing intent surged. His goal had been exposed by Long Chen and his plan had been ruined. Now he was even the target of all these people. Just keep relying on your numbers to shout. Long Chen. If you really have the gods, do you dare to have a life and death battle with me? One where no one is allowed to interfere, shouted Xiang Yanfei. His goal was obvious. He wanted to kill Long Chen, but he was worried about interference from Ku Jianying and Yan Nanshan. However, after he said this, those experts cursing Xiang Yanfei fell silent. Long Chen had displayed enough power to force a nether passage expert to repeatedly retreat. And Xiang Yanfei still dared to challenge him? Was he really so powerful? There's nothing in this world that I don't dare to do. As I said, last time I could kill your clone, and this time I'll kill your true body, said Long Chen. Good, then let's have a real fight. I'll cut you down right here and now. Xiang Yanfei's manifestation erupted behind him. The void tore open, and a mammoth's cry shook the world. Did you think relying on cheating to get first place on the Devil Slaughter rankings made you number one? Today I'll show you that your fantasy is nothing more than that. Xiang Yanfei's heavenly bone spears spread, 
unleashing bright light. They were like ivory tusks. A mammoth cry came from each of the bone spears. It was like an army of mammoths had been awoken. Suddenly, one of them tore through the void, vanishing. Long Chen slashed his saber to the side, and the void exploded, revealing the heavenly bone spear. The ground beneath Long Chen exploded, and he was forced back by the heavenly bone spear. The ground continuously trembled. It felt like the world could not bear this level of power. Just a single heavenly bone spear possesses such power. If he gathered all of them, wouldn't that be enough power to destroy heaven and earth? Those 108 bone spears were refined from the tusks of Xiang Yunfei's ancestors. Rumor is that they're the tusks of 108 experts of the mammoth race in the ancient era. The barbarian mammoth race has two tusks, but right before their death, one of their tusks divine marks will transfer to the other. It could be said that each of these heavenly bone spears represents the power of a supreme expert from the barbarian mammoth race. They each have their own spiritual seal, and they're different from ordinary divine items. Their item spirits are willing to lend their full power to Xiang Yunfei, and there's no slave mark limiting their power. It could be said that they are priceless treasures of the ancient races. Long Chen will probably be in danger, sighed an elder. Stop. Long Chen suddenly stamped down on the ground. Berserk power surged out of him, and he managed to resist this heavenly bone spear. He eventually managed to stop it from pushing him back. 